Okay. Can someone turn on the lights in here? Brian fucked up. <laughs> like someone turned on. Start here. <gasps> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So yeah apologies uh this is a so brian's camera died yeah i uh i recorded something the other day and plugged in my camera but i don't think i plugged it in correctly because i'd received no charge i don't get how you like this <laughs> one week it was the you forgot the memory card yeah and then this week you forgot to bring the charger. Why do you? Why does leave it all in a bag? Because like, I'm depressed, Crockett. And then and just I write forget. podcast bag. Because so, uh, <laughs> when you get home, you just want to just sit down. You don't want to think about. So it. so it, it's it's like this. Sometimes it happens. Like because I, I I don't use the camera just for the podcast stuff. Like I use the camera for for work and like for like for funsy stuff. Mm-hmm. So like I forgot I forgot to charge it after I had <laughs> used it, or like I tried to charge it after I had used it, but I fucked up because I didn't plug in the thing right. So. I had like everything, I had, everything normally stays in the bag that I use with yeah. the camera. But. I had everything, everything I was gonna bring today. I leave it all in one spot where yeah. I can see it all week and be like, okay, I'm not That's gonna because I because I, I I'm really bad about forgetting things. Yeah. So I left everything in one spot at my house and then I just took my bag, just slid it all into the bag and went out the door this morning. <laughs> it's fucking me. Yeah, no, I gotta get I gotta get a little bit better at getting organized. Too, too bad we don't have a camera this week. We're just gonna have to explain it because I got some show and tell stuff for you guys. Well, we can just put it in the in the edit. Okay, well, you know, welcome to the fifty <laughs> third <laughs> episode of Fifty Third Podcast. Uh, last week you noticed we haven't posted an episode last week because we all took a break, and it, it was unplanned too. We all took a break. Yeah, no, you, you guys actually, you guys took the breaks. I just stayed home. You just stayed home. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, we all, went anywhere. well, we went on. Well, we well, me and Tay unplanned. Bo took a vacation. That wasn't a vacation. <laughs> you went to Bush Gardens. Yeah, for my sister. That was a vacation, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Planning on Aja soon, though. For the upcoming weeks, go to a beach. Nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wait. So. Do <laughs> so you, you just didn't have him fun? Is that? <laughs> I just. Oh. What? Uh, someone shut the door. Oh, one second. I got it. Well, if you're new to the show, this is a show about. Three friends talk about whatever in the industry, gaming industry, or entertainment industry, or what's happening outside of your window. If you like that, please hit that follow subscribe button on that podcast service or YouTube, and that helps us out a lot so you can be updated to the show. Why are you looking at me like that? Ah, the door closed. Jesus. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> it's a crap. Even as we did have a camera, you couldn't even see what Brian was doing back there, but you could probably hear it. I didn't want to make the noise when you were talking. No, nah, you're good. That door, yeah, it doesn't shut very well. No. I think it's because, like, the, the little mat underneath it yeah. d- keeps it from, uh, I guess, like, audio or it's a pretty air or whatever. Door. You brought up the vacation topic, didn't you? Yeah. That's funny because I was, like, thinking, like. Yeah, so uh, so last week, uh, went on vacation, went to Asheville, North Carolina, very hipster town. And I could probably name this town probably, like, the Seattle, or not Seattle, the Portland of uh of the east side. Yeah, of the east side. Uh, it was <laughs> when I went to when I got to downtown. It was super hipster, like very very weird people there. It's like Noda. I didn't know. Yeah. Hipster. So the way I would explain it is like if well, that's such a niche to think to say Noda because people don't know what Noda is here. No. Oh, okay. So if you're if you're from Charlotte, we're a Charlotte based podcast. Um, actually, the intro video is all shot in in Noda. It, yeah. A lot of it's shot in Noda. And Noda is very hipster. Yeah, it's a lot of hipsters, a lot of freaks and geeks. Millennials. Yeah, um, but that's just a small subsection of Charlotte. Asheville is like a small town, but it is literally just a, a massive Noda. It's I, it's just all freaks and geeks. I don't. You, you went to Asheville? What's over there? I don't think I ever been to Asheville. Or uh, Asheville there's or a small it. town. It's very cool. Uh, there's a lot of mount. It's very beautiful. So Biltmore's over there. Went to Biltmore. Um, there's a lot of hiking trails. It's very. It's really in the like mountains. It's very pretty. It's North Carolina. Blue Blue Mountain <laughs> Ridge. <laughs> you can see rows and rows of the mountains on on top of. It's really nice. Did you go to the museum? Like the Asheville Museum of Art or whatever. Which like? one? There's fifty thousand museums over there. No, in the downtown. There's only one in the downtown. No, I went, uh, never went to the museum. Gotcha. Yeah, I uh, I went to Asheville like maybe like a year ago with uh, Annie, and I shoved my face full of black garlic ramen, mm. and I had a Cuban sandwich at a Cuban spot. It was like a Puerto Rican ran spot. Yeah. And dude, I, I bet that Cuban smacked, didn't it? Dude, ah, oh, fuck. I ate it, and I could not move for like 15 minutes afterwards. So, so it was so good. Is it not like 
North Carolina is the South is country. Is it not a country at all a little bit? Or you it's no, it's like it's like a weird mixture of. I mean, it's like Noda. It's like we're in the South. It's like it's like Charlotte because Charlotte's Charlotte. a weird mix of like this fusion of hipster and. I would say I guess like Charlotte's a hipsterish town kind we're, of. Yeah, we're kind of hipster. Um, yeah, it, it's a weird fusion of country. Here's, and here's a reality of it. Think hipster. of a place that got gentrified to shit, but then hipsters moved into it. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like super Noda. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. like it's like Noda on steroids. Okay. It's a really nice place, but sometimes you walk around and you go like, "Wow, they really like this is white people central." Yeah, because mm-hmm. like, when I think of like North Carolina, I think of my town. Yeah, and Charlotte and. And I guess actually look at like anomaly that's not supposed to look like that over yeah. here. <laughs> a lot, of, a yeah. lot. Of, it's very popular. A lot of people travel really? very far to go to. It. Yeah, they know sure. that. It's very like nice. They, they got some like nice record stores. They got some like really gorgeous stores. They got some fancy restaurants. Never thought like, that. It's super. It's super good. Like historic looking buildings. That's really gorgeous. You I guys can't see it, but I got all these uh, stickers on my laptop from there. Yeah, so I got a ton of cool like little stickers. I probably spent like forty, fifty dollars on stickers. Are they like skyscrapers <laughs> and shit over there, like Charlotte? Or? Nah, well, there's, I mean, there's buildings, I mean, but it's not like a city. Okay. It's not like a city. It's a small town, but it's like, a, it's a bigger, I guess it's a little bit bigger than a small town. There's a lot yeah. of people, I mean, a lot of people come there to visit, so. Mm. It's more, it's smaller than downtown Charlotte, but it's, uh, you know, but it's like. But it's bigger like than Very uh, populated, Eden. yeah. Edith. Yeah. Whatever Edith, the hell Edith. you're <laughs> from. <laughs> Smallville, that's what it is. Smallville, yeah. Smallville. Bigger, bigger than Smallville. It's <laughs> the exact same thing. That's what I thought, that's what, I never heard anyone mention Nashville or going there or whatever. I never thought it'd be like that. Thought it'd be like some country yeah. town. <laughs> you know, you know, my mom found my podcast. Yeah. Oh shit. So, someone at yeah. my dad's job listened to us. Really? Yeah. Really? He told me that. Uh, my mom. Yeah. My mom asked me. That's she amazing. Was, she was like, "What do you guys talk about?" <laughs> whatever the fuck. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, I didn't, I'd really had no no idea what to tell her. Like, uh, stuff. I guess. I mean, <laughs> it's personal lives. I don't know. <laughs> Pop culture. I, uh, when, when I ran my first podcast for film's sake and people at school, cause I did it while I was at university yeah. and like people, please at tell me st- no one asked what, what it was about. No, no, no one asked what it was about, but I would have a conversation. We were recorded on Saturdays. We recorded pretty much like this schedule. Like we recorded on Saturdays or Sundays and we release on Tuesdays and, uh, I would walk into Tuesday and people would be talking to me about the conversation that I had on the podcast. Like, they was just like, hey, man, what do you think about the movie? Like, I, I, your opinion on this movie was really great. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you remember? Do you remember what I would do? Yeah, you asked me to be on the podcast like 700 no, times. No, 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 no. I, I would... I would listen to Brian's podcast while I was driving back home to Virginia. <laughs> he and, fucking and, text me. And then when Brian and uh, what was the other guy's name? Chris. Chris. When when they couldn't figure out a, a movie topic or the, the name of a movie or something, I would call Brian midway through the podcast <laughs> and I would be like, Brian, it's this. You guys did the, the meet with the uh, Mortal Kombat movie or something. Some movie I was texting while he's driving. Like, I got to tell them. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it was, though. Yeah, Crockett, I would get a call from Crockett out of context. I would pick up the phone and I would just be like, it's it's this movie. It's this movie. I swear to God, it's this movie. It's like, Crockett, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, like, and then we just hang up and be like, all right. He, he was listening to a podcast I was like six months old. Like, I had no idea what the fuck he was saying. Yeah. I, would li- I like to let him build up so I'd have a five hours worth of content to listen to when I go home. Yeah, Brian thought I was huge when I found you the podcast. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was great. I, I used to love being like going back to school on Tuesdays and having people go like, hey, man, I love the episode of the podcast. It was fucking sick. I no, love podcasting. He was a fan of dr- <laughs> drunk and shit like a true fan. Who? Moses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Moses, Moses loves the shit out of us, actually. <laughs> He's so sweet. Because he watched our videos and. He's, he uh, recently, he subscribed to our Apple podcast too. Nice. For weeks, actually. So this, I think he's, <laughs> well, <laughs> recently. It's, it's, it's so weird to have, like, a real listener. <laughs> like, to have a genuine fan. Like, like no, you guys are great. I'm like, really? <laughs> oh, shit. And, like, we just mess around all week. And if some of my Twitter followers uh, listen to us, like, which I didn't think. They actually, not Augie Kingdom, but someone else. Listen to our show. Oh yeah, no, yeah. it's it's really fun to find out like who yeah. actually listens to you because it's always so like mind blowing at the yeah. beginning. Yeah, I, I, I have a hard time believing somebody. Like, yeah. you really listen, or you just like just say no. <laughs> I want to have a moment. I've been thinking about this the past few days. So, like I'm at Walmart somewhere, and someone recognizes, <laughs> yeah, recognizes me, yeah, recognize me. <laughs> recognize your voice. Like, hey, are you you that podcast? You that guy? Yeah, I'm a huge fan, dude. Uh, to, to get back on track to yeah, vacations, the vacations. So yeah, I uh, so you're talking about like the food. 
So I had two opposite experiences with food while I was there. Oh, no. One, one the first night I was there, I went and got um, pizza. Yeah. And it was called Pizza Mine. Yeah. And it was so good. It was New York style pizza. The pizza was about big as my head. Oh, and God. it was only like four slices, but it was oh, a whole shit. pie. I mean, this is like true pizza where you had to like fold it up to eat it. Yeah. That was delicious. Uh, on like the last night I was there, I had um, went to this barbecue place that Adriana had randomly found on Google Maps. She the, had the styrofoam certain, thing picture you posted. The what? The styrofoam. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> them, them ribs suck so much ass. Really? Yeah, awful. Were it was so dry. dry? Yeah. yeah, dry is gonna be. I think we got there right as they close, and I think they just that's what they had left, and I think that's what it was. <laughs> I will have to go back and try it a second time to reassure to see if these wings are real or these ribs were really ass. But damn, it was disappointing. It never, I, I hate getting bad ribs. Dude, I'm about to say that nothing worse. That's how I feel about that ramen that could put. So, put yeah, shit. <laughs> nothing remember. worse getting bad fucking food. I hate that shit. Like I, I was so disappointed with that ramen. I love and, that but, message because you, you get you wrote out a whole review <laughs> and then you stopped writing. And then, like, two minutes later when I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, the it was ramen. Oh, the uh, Silver uh, Lakes ramen. I yeah. was so angry, dude. <laughs> and, like, I remember I got bad at wings one time. But how do you fuck up wings? Wings are pretty hard to fuck See, up. See, I, yeah. you, like, okay, I'll give, I'll, I'll love, have some, I'll let somebody have one. Yeah. But if they go back and it's bad again, <laughs> no, 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 it's that, it's that place's fault. Now you're pissed. Because I, I get it. There's sometimes, like, you just get a bad order. But, yeah. But you go to go back at a different time, you know, a different staff's there. Right. You give it a di- second try, but the recipe just might be butt. <laughs> That's me with Zaxby's. Zaxby's fucking sucks. I like Zaxby's. No. Zax- Dude, Zaxby's is, unless they're going to sponsor us in the future, Zaxby's is fucking trash. <laughs> As the wing <laughs> Next week, <laughs> Zaxby's delicious. <laughs> no, I went to Zaxby's with different locations, Florida, Charlotte, and Elizabeth City. Three of them. Three Zaxby's kind of sore over here. The, the yeah. Zaxby's tour. I'm the wing king. That's an established. <laughs> I think I think if you're the wing king, I'm the rib. Chicken wing god. I well, give the, the, the rib. I, yeah, I'm definitely for the ribs. The rib master. Oh, yeah. Rib master. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rib master. <laughs> wing king. Brian, you need one for Brian, you. Brian, what, you? Nah, <laughs> what does Brian eat a lot? Ah, uh, dude, I eat a lot of sushi. I fucking love sushi. And like, see, but that's not cashy. What are you gonna do, like sushi slayer? Like a dog. sushi slayer? Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> sushi <stupid>. slayer, baby. <laughs> sushi I like that actually. <laughs> sushi slayer. I don't know. I might eat more sushi than you. You might, cause you're 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 like three times the weeb that I am. That's Adriana doing. A- that Adriana too. eats sushi, like 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 every like every other like week. twice a week. That's awesome. So I have to eat sushi like once a week. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a place in Charlotte called Pisces Sushi Lounge. It's all you can eat sushi until like two thirty p.m. And they well, make that's Mr. To Tokyo's. Shout out to Mr. Tokyo's in Charlotte. Give me a- yeah, but Mr. Tokyo's just like a like a nation buffet. You know, they have like they have like they have sushi, but it's not great sushi. Dude, it's pretty good sushi. I eat this weird um, sushi called a teen tea roll, and it's deep fried sushi. Yeah, they it's sushi so food. good. <laughs> it tastes like a. Like the sauce on it makes it taste like a chili cheese dog, <laughs> which Adrian is like, how do you taste that? And I'm like, I don't know, but it, it's what is so good. <laughs> I'm glad you said I, I need something different. I eat sushi, but I just don't eat sushi. All try try Mr. Tokyo's. You can even. try, yeah, that deep fried sushi is really good. Or yeah, I shouldn't say deep fried, it's tempura sushi. Tempura fried, yeah. I love have you, fried. uh, Tay, have you had a nigiri? Uh, the black? No, no, no. The, the, the paper the rice thing? balls no 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 that's onigiri are you talking about uh, the rice? sashimi uh, sashimi and nigiri which is like the, oh, the raw piece of fish on top of rice or sashimi yeah, like just the raw the yeah. raw fish dude try tuna like salmon and tuna are like the best to, to eat sashimi, sashimi. Yeah. that should fucking slaps yeah i noticed the raw uh, like an appetizer the uh, not ramen but the fucking sushi is kind of thick the ones you guys eat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to have it thick. For yeah, texture. You, Unless I mean, it's like like scallops or something like that. Those you want to slice thin. Because that's why, I mean, that's why they give you rice with it. Because it's not a lot of, it's the fish is so high grade, you can't eat, like you're not getting a lot of it. So that's why they pack it around with rice to fill you up from it. You get filled, it's like a light meal. Yeah, you can get pretty full. I mean, uh, three rolls will fill you up. No way. Yeah. I th- Tay, I'm with you, man. I, fu- I can fucking swallow six rolls. <laughs> Of sushi. Roll is like one slice, right? No, no. Rolls is like like the like six slices of sushi. Oh yeah, yeah. So you eat how many? I eat like five, <laughs> like five or six. Five rolls. That's like what? Y'all some gluttons. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, 
There's a place called, there's another place called Rock and Roll Sushi. It's all you can eat. They make the sushi to order. It's mm -hmm. normally a conveyor belt sushi. Yeah, you heard, yeah, you heard. I really wanted yeah. to go there. And then you said there, there's no conveyor yeah. belt. And I'm like, well, there's no point in going there. <laughs> they turned off the conveyor belt because of COVID. But the sushi is delicious. Well, I was Pretty about fine. to say, I'm like, the sushi's going to be ass if there's going to be a conveyor belt. <laughs> yeah. But I'll, I still want to try it. Um, anyway. Okay, so you got shitty ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the whole thing. Um, but so I did, I climbed a waterfall. So we went to a national park up there. We went, it took us a, an hour to drive up it. It is literally just up a mountain. Had some Jesus. beautiful, beautiful scenery shots. I, uh, I don't know if that's, I, I think it's posted some of the discord. You should, yeah, you shared some of them. Yeah. Um, it was looked, mostly the waterfall. Mostly the waterfall. So I didn't do any. So I was on top of pretty much as a mountain and dude with the clouds and everything. It literally looked like an anime shot. It is <laughs> extremely beautiful. Um, but yeah, I went to a national park. I think it's called Graveyard Mine or something. No, that's graveyard. a terrifying name. For <laughs> gra park. It was something Graveyard, Graveyard it's Mountain, whatever. Graveyard Mountain. <laughs> it, it had like a, a bunch of waterfalls, and it took us an hour to drive up it. And it was just nothing but mountains. How many people have to die in a place for you to call it a graveyard? Anything? Probably like hundred you know? plus. Like. Five hundred <laughs> plus <Yeah>. graveyard. <laughs> graveyard sounds like a lot of people, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because like five people buried in a place that's technically a graveyard. You know, yeah. now no, now, now I'm sit sitting here. I never question any of that. Like I never yeah. question like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go on this mountain. Yeah. Never question anything about it being called a graveyard. Just like, yeah, I'm gonna go on this. Gonna It'd go be this graveyard, perfectly man. fine. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Remember, play Pokemon Go to Pokemon <laughs> graveyard. We drove around. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, I, I was really excited because I thought it was going to be a bunch of ghost types, but there was no ghost types. Damn. It sucks. Uh, but yeah, um, they did not maintain it at all. It was like the water from like showers had right, washed away the trails and stuff. So you're just pretty much the entire trail was just on like jagged rocks. It was pretty hardcore. I was like, was I am terrifying. definitely either me or Adrian is going to twist our ankles. Uh, anyway, walked about like five or six miles, got up to this waterfall. And then I started, and then there was like a lot of stuff. There's just no one there to stop you from doing anything. So I just climbed up the <laughs> waterfall. I climbed up a bunch of slick rock. Dude, that's dangerous. As hell, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, but there was people on top of the waterfall. Like literally like, like right at 90 the degree angle. They climbed up a little bit up on it. Jesus. And I'm like, well, you know, they can do it. Oh, I'm going to go do that. <laughs> and uh, so I, is, I sure as hell went up and did it. This is why men live shorter than women. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm sure Adriana saw that and she went like, I'm absolutely not doing that. Yeah, she kept calling me a little over. monkey because like the way I could climb around rocks. Because <laughs> I, I use I, at a certain point when I was in the waterfall, I had to take my shoes off. So I literally would look like I was a monkey climbing up on the rocks. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. Um, got a lot of great shots. And then uh, there was one part where I saw people getting on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, but not directly climbing up the waterfall, but going around it. And it was this weird, bizarre. Like, you ever seen like a creek, like a creek bed, right? Yeah. Just like how the rocks, and then it's like how the the soil is is spread it apart and everything. Yeah. Uh, there was pretty much like a path like that, and I'm like, I think this might not be it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I climbed up that, and sure enough, that was actually the path people were taking. There's no actual path, but right. that's what way people were climbing up. I was legitly covered in dirt, <laughs> climbing rocks. And then poor Adriana couldn't get over this like limb at one point, yeah. so I had to leave her behind <laughs> up on this mat, like on the side of this like cliff. And then I got to the top of it, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come back. And Did I, you like jump down, or was it like you had to climb? Back I had to down? climb back down. It was, yeah. dude, and I had to like legitly had like you know in movies where they reach down and grab someone's hand and pull them up. Yeah. I had to do that multiple times. That was like the what I was in. I was yeah. in like weird. Kind of uncharted real life. I was li no. That's what we kept. <laughs> that's what Adriana kept saying. Like yeah, like this is our uncharted level. Take yeah. it easy, Nathan. So, Nathan. <laughs> so we did that like all one day, and I got like hella somber. My my arms are finally getting a little tan, and then on the uh, the last day, so we went to downtown Asheville because we we were we were in Asheville, but we stayed in an Airbnb. Yeah, and we never went downtown. And then on the last day, we we're going to go to Biltmore, and then which was like a Resident Evil castle. It was like, as I, I was literally I in wanted Lady. to go to Biltmore. Yeah, it was it was really baller. Uh, How far is Asheville from? It's like three hours, I think, yeah, from Charlotte. Uh, but went to uh, Lady uh, Dimitrescu, <laughs> like Lady castle. Castles. There was did like you, a, did you got a fly swatter with it. You got to see the pretty much the entire castle. I keep calling it a castle. I think it was a manor, but it, it felt like <laughs> it a castle. It is a manor, yeah. Yeah. But we, me and Adrian kept calling it a castle. 
down in the basement they have this room called a halloween room <laughs> is this open it, to the public or what, what yeah yeah this? you take a tour it's expensive though it's like 60 bucks for a tour yeah but so they make their monies yeah uh but they had a halloween room down in the basement which is yeah. pretty baller and then they had like I, but it was like it was like paintings and stuff on the wall and apparently they had like a party in the, like the 60s or something or not in the 60s but they had a party and they just drew a bunch on the wall, and then there was a lot of bats and cats and stuff. So that's why they nicknamed it the Halloween Room. And just like, a, a, like an authentic place from the past, or some yeah, dude, recent yeah. thing they made for people to travel. Like, is it something from like back then? Like yeah, it was. A, it was a manor. It was okay. a. It was owned by the Biltmores. Okay. They were like a like a rich family, and then I think in the fifties when the or the forties, whenever the Great Depression, I think they needed money, so then they. Uh, converted the entire manor into like a museum. That's crazy. Okay, that's wild. <clears throat> but it was insane, dude. I couldn't imagine like waking up in a in a man like a like a castle like that. Pretty much. The only the only thing I think of when you say Halloween room is that they they tortured people in there and then they called it a Halloween room. Just to they did it. have one. They had so they had a bunch of cool stuff in it. It was like so being in North Carolina back then. I mean, you, you didn't have like a lot of stuff, but this place had was very unique. And the, they had a bowling alley. <laughs> In they there? had a yeah. They had a bowling alley. They had a bowl, well, a bowling lane, yeah. not an alley. Rich people had, are tripping. And then they had an indoor pool in the basement, which was pretty sweet. Oh, that's that is pretty sweet. <clears throat> and a lot of people couldn't swim, so they had a lot of ropes on the side so people could grab onto to like yeah. learn how to swim. And it's all old timey. They had an old timey gym in it, mm -hmm. which they kept saying on the the tour that like <laughs> this was pretty much standard. I mean, the standard stuff that you see now is pretty like pretty good for even today's standards. Which yeah. it, it was, man. You had a pool bar and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they had a shower. They had it was insane. And they had a walk-in freezer, which was, I was super that like going into it through a castle like yeah. like that. You're like that was the one thing I was most impressed about was it was weird. The, the walk-in, but freezer. a walk-in freezer back in like the 1800s, like that was state of the art. Back oh then. shit, yeah, that walk-in freezer is actually scary. Yeah, like, if you got locked in there, ooh, that was where the Arby's used to go. To, like I just get paranoid and had to go in there. <laughs> yeah, get locked, get stuck in there. When yeah. I worked at the Whole Foods. Uh, which, by the way, I left that, like, I just didn't show up for my next shift. <laughs> like, to this day, have not been back in that store. Um, you can't go back. No. <laughs> I, wa I, I want to go back and just, like, like buy some shit there and just see if anyone recognizes me. Yeah. Someone uh, just, like, brought in, like, checking. I was like, they yeah. look up and like, oh, hey. <laughs> show up with you're my late. apron. You're <laughs> late. Yeah, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> just going to show up with the apron and start stocking yogurt again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, when I used to work at Whole Foods, like the freezer is, we had one freezer that went up to like minus 20 degrees. What the fuck? Like, Why? and that, that was like the, that was, it was, a, it was the meat freezer, mm. um, before they thaw everything out to be butchered. And one time the scariest thing is like, I heard the, the door click behind me <laughs> and luckily there's like a handle inside that doesn't lock. But like, I heard the door click behind me and suddenly I thought I was like in a saw movie that I was going to die frozen <laughs> yeah. in there. And I was like, it's like, oh, fuck. And I ran into the, to the door and like. <laughs> well, she got some meat to try to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you try to, can you imagine? Yeah, you stuck in there. You're trying to eat the frozen food. <laughs> it's like gnawing on it. <laughs> like, you're, like teeth, like you're just like breaking off and shattering. <laughs> That's awesome, man. What else did you do in Asheville? Do anything fun? Anything yeah, so. Fun? um I told him I was going to give him a shout out. So on the last day that I was in Asheville, so I'm walking downtown. We're just walking around, just checking out the shops early in the morning. And uh, pretty much we're about to head back to the car and go to Biltmore. And I walk down the main street. So where you told me to try the ramen at, yeah. uh, that, all, the, all the stuff was starting to open up. And we walked past that. And we went down, uh, down the street. And then we're like, okay, we're about to leave. And then we just, Adrian was like, let's just take this back way. It's shorter. And we're like, I'm like, okay. So we take this back way and we're coming up. And then I walk by the store and it has like a little window and it has a bunch of like tea sets, really oh, fancy nice. tea shit sets. And I'm like, oh, these look so cool. And, and Adrian was like, are they open? I'm like, they might be open. Let's check it out. And uh, they had just opened. It was like at 11. And it was a tea shop where they sold uh, like tea sets and stuff. And then they had a tea bar, and then they had a lounge where you could just order like, like a like a restaurant, but just for tea. That's that sounds kind of great. And uh, this that sounds all, like some well, Uncle Iroh shit. Yeah, exactly yeah. what it was. And then they had like these big uh, glass tea um, bottles on the wall and shelf, and in the it was like all like really expensive fine tea. Yeah. And uh, 
we're like, oh shit, let's just, just like let's just see what this is about. And so me and Adriana, we sat down at the bar, and this dude, um, Hunter, he was super cool. Asked us like, it's like, are you, are you guys, what are you guys doing here and stuff like that, like, and we, uh, so I ordered two flights, and we're like, and he asked us like, well, two flights of tea, yeah, two flights that. of tea, which is like weird because like, what bar do you go to, like a tea bar? Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is super unique. Let's tr- check it out. It was very super chill. Like mm-hmm. very chill. Do you remember the name of the place? Yeah, so it's called. I got the. I have a card actually here, and I told Hunter I'd give him a shout out. Fuck yeah, Hunter! Here. Shout out to you. I keep looking at the camera, not realizing that I fucked up yeah. and it's not recording. I don't <laughs> now know. I have it. <laughs> so I grabbed their, their. The place is called uh, High Climate Tea Company, and uh, I guess it's only in Charlotte, or not only in uh, Asheville, but it was a very very cool place. Nice. Um, so yeah. we, we have a we order a flight and. The, um, yeah, pass the card around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a fast around a class. Uh, I told you I had some show and tell stuff. And his IG. Uh, so Adrian tells him she likes jasmine tea and yeah. I like green tea. So he uh, makes up this flight. And the first tea that we have, it was insane. Like so good? the way he brews it was, it was, he was explaining. I mean, just, I mean, I guess, I don't know if Hunter, I don't know if you own the company or not, but like it seemed like you did, or you just know way too much about tea, <laughs> but. It's his job. Yeah, so he knew an, an exorbitant amount of mm-hmm. stuff, and the way he was explaining to me like how this is tea is brewed, how different types of teas were brewed, um, and then there was like this big table with like this really unique thing on it, and it, I guess it was a legit like tea brewing whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there, that's it. And mm-hmm. uh, it had this what nice uh, wood lacquer like finish, and then it had like this really cool, um, like yeah, 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 like just like that. That sounds that looks incredible. Uh, yeah. It had a bunch of cool stuff on it, and then what you do is like you bo- you boil tea at a certain point, and then he would pour the water over the tea. And you always pour out the first cup. Yeah, you always pour out the first the and, first and little. Brew, he would yeah. pour it over like this little like I think it was like a. It was some type of animal. They put. They call them tea pets. Tea pets. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was cool. He just poured it over it, and that's how I knew. I was like, oh, I'm in for a pretty yeah, for cool. A I'm in, yeah. There's a guy in TikTok. I don't know. It would be crazy if this is fucking Hunter, um, but there's a guy in TikTok that does that. He like has really expensive tea, and he has a bunch of tea pets, and he always shows you, hey, this is how you brew this tea. This is the water temperature, and then you pour it over. Like you always do that. What's the guy look like? He's he's just a white dude, just a very white dude Beard, with a uh, hair. Uh, I don't remember actually. I don't remember. Yeah. Jordan, what did you get? Uh, Bao Lao Chun, Jade Spring. Oh, it's, uh, I'm trying to remember. There was a lot of lot of crazy. I think the first tea that we had was Jasmine Pearl, but it has a crazy name. It's Phoenix Dragon Jasmine Pearl, <laughs> yeah. and he, he said a lot of people just call it Jasmine Pearl because it's just a simple name. The white name. tea. Yeah. It was immediately. Yeah, the yeah. I immediately drank it. And just all my worries in my, my life just melted away. My mind snapped out of reality. <laughs> I was, like, thrown away and said, yeah, this is a very calming tea. This is a tea for, like, you could drink, like, throughout the day and stuff. Yeah. I, I was blown away. I was like, Jesus Christ. The only time I ever felt like that before was when I got a massage yeah. a couple years ago. And they were, like, breaking these scents into my nose. Yeah. And, my, and it's, I guess it helped you relax. And this tea, I was like, jeez. <laughs> So I, I transcended reality in my body, in my soul of my body. That's amazing. Man, that sounds delicious. Yeah. I really want to, next time I go. And I, I so we, that. so we're just sitting there drinking just tea after tea after tea. And, uh, then he gives us this, um, uh, tea called blue people. Yeah. It was an, uh, oolong tea that was called blue tea, blue okay. people. It was the best he ever had. Really? Uh, and ended up buying. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, yeah, you ended like, up buying it. I ended up buying it. I bought uh, four teacups. Yeah. And then buying some of that, and I wanted to buy more. And Adrian was like, "Stop, because <laughs> the tea, the tea was really expensive. Yeah, it's, it's probably like thirty or forty bucks. It was like bag. fifty bucks for eight ounces. Yeah. But I was like, but you can reuse. You can like re-steep those leaves. Oh like no no three no. Or four oh times. yeah. I because well, you pour out the first cup, and then you get about three more cups or three more pours. Yeah. Out of it, and um, I was just blown away. So like it was. Just, it's like a blueberry scent, mm-hmm. but w- the way it works, it was you drink it and then you could feel like almost like the aftertaste. There is a strong wafting blueberry taste in the back of your throat. That's and it was sitting right on the back of my mouth, back of my jaw. 
So good. So right after that, I was like, well, I'm going to have to buy this. <laughs> so um, I would like to encourage invite you guys to ha- come over to have some tea one day. Dude, fuck yeah. And like the people, there were people slowly coming in and stuff. And there was a lot of people talking about, they had like. You recognize them? I followed them. Yeah. Chat. Let me see. Is it a blue to black shirt back there? Give him a, th- give him a little tag on, on Instagram. The oh, yeah. Yeah. He, it's that guy right there. The black shirt back there. The, bl- the black shirt, but his yeah, uh, hair, his hair was a lot longer, and he had a beard. Okay. Um. Yeah. So if you guys are ever in North Carolina and you're in Asheville, definitely go check out uh, High, High Climate, Climate Tea Company. It was uh, really nice. The hunter was great. He explained everything, and uh, go get you some really nice tea, or you go ahead and order offline because I told him to give a give him a shout out on here. Hell yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, mm. you guys got to come over and have some of this fifty dollars tea that I have. <laughs> Dude, perfect. I'm absolutely drink a fifty dollars tea. I wanted by like he had this really interesting setup with. Um, so the way he would brew the tea would be like he would put it. He had like a special cup, and it was like it looked like a tea cup. Yeah. And the he would put the tea in there. He would put the water in it, and then he would take the lid of the cup, and would just kind of swirl it, or he would just kind of um, like graze it a little bit in there, yeah. and then he would. Take a screen and pour out the tea, the tea, uh, the just, so the liquid would be into another clear container. Yeah. And then the leaves would be separate, so the leaves aren't just not sitting in the water. Right. And then he would pour the the cup of tea, and it was, I really want to get that set up now because I'm like, damn, I think gonna, yeah, that's probably the way you got to do it. Blow two hundred dollars a bag for tea. <laughs> Dude, they they had the whole <laughs> setup. There was like a bunch of brushes and like little like, like little like just utensils that you could have for it, and then there was like trays you could buy it's a whole thing it's a whole process yeah. but when you're working with like tea like that there was some tea in there that was like way more expensive than the one i got yeah when you're working with tea like that it's uh i mean you you got it's it like you, coffee, it's, it's like, a ceremony yeah you can't have like big expensive cup of coffee without like the equipment to like get everything you exactly can like your 600 dollars yeah. <laughs> espresso I don't, maker. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to talk about it. you buy it yourself or what? i did <laughs> <laughs> but dude yeah. it makes a really good cup of coffee <laughs> Um, yeah, there, there is something really satisfying about like, just like enjoying a ceremonious process before you like drink something. Are you watching them do that in front of you and stuff? Yeah, dude. It was a, he did the whole, it was like, well, he's a bartender. I mean, he, but it was a, for tea and it was a whole, like, you guys, I, I, if we ever go to, we should take a drug and ship sabbatical to, uh, (laughs) to Asheville Asheville so we can do (laughs) shit like that. But that was really cool. Hell yeah. The, the, even the, the table that he was working on was this big, like look like a tree oak. Cut yeah, in half. I saw it on the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah you did. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then there was a these big glass panels, and I'm like, man, this would be. I was like telling him, like, this would be so cool to come in here when it's raining oh, and just yeah. drink tea. Just play the Persona I Five for like rainy mood. Dude, yeah, I was like, hey, just slip on the CD, like, hey, play this. <laughs> You're like, find a bill in the rain. That would be that. That would be incomplete. Zen. Put the CD on a fifty dollar bill <laughs> yeah. underneath it's like, it. You know what? I, it's like I'll take the tea. It's like forty five for the tea. What's the five dollars for the music? <laughs> um, Man, that's awesome. That sounds like a great, like a great little trip. Yeah, that and uh, that was pretty much the end of my trip. And, um, but I got some uh, gifts for you guys. Oh, I was dude, yes. what the heck? Yeah. Uh, too <laughs> oh, bad we're not so filming. Sweet. Yeah, um, oh, we'll take a can picture. Us, but we can uh, yeah. can't explain what we got here. So Brian, I got you. Since you got a six hundred dollar uh, espresso machine, I got you a nice little coffee. Oh, uh, dude, North wake. D- don't wake the bear. <laughs> yeah, since you're very hairy man. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Thank you so much. And then Tay, I got you. I know your favorite drink is uh, old fashioned, so I got you this nice hey. little sticker. Hey. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> call me old. I like this. It's, it's a little old fashioned. It's a call sticker old of fashion. old fashioned. It says "Call me old fashioned." Yeah, that's funny because people call me old man a lot. Okay. <laughs> Tay, you are sort of emotionally an old man. <laughs> old man. I, I I I find your your social media presence so fascinating <laughs> for that same reason. Because you sound. Thank you, Crockett. This is very. This oh yeah, is, yeah, yeah, this is very fucking sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely yeah, gonna drink coffee one. when I get home tonight, and it. Um, but <laughs> your social media presence, emotionally, like, I know that you're 25 <laughs> and that you're talking about the same shit that I talk about all the time on Twitter. But emotionally, there's something about it that makes me go, like, Tay feels like the old man in his sports, just, like, like talking about it to the neighbor, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, you have a beer in your hand and you're, like, something, something E3, like, ah, they're going to remake him, but it's going to suck. Yeah. Like, it's just really funny to me. I love your energy. I get it. Lately, I've been getting on the nerds lately. I'm so sick of these fucking nerds on Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> always something. Me fucking too. They're all they're annoyed all the time. They're very annoying. So you also went on vacation, or you went to where the hell did you go? Just to Bushguard. My sister uh, graduated. Was it last Friday? Yeah, last yeah. Friday. Uh, graduated high school. That's oh, nice. dude! Fuck. So you just went to Bush Gardens. And That's all. awesome. You probably saw that picture I posted of her. Yeah, you and your sister look a lot alike. She's just like female. Yeah, it was, it was wild. <laughs> Tatawig. <Tatum-wig. laughs> yeah, Tatawig, yeah. They just went to Bush Gardens. Uh, no mask. Yeah, no, no, not a mask in sight. I didn't wear a mask either. Yeah, you're vaccinated. <laughs> yeah. So it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was nice. Yeah. I, get, I didn't get the adrenaline I needed. <laughs> Maybe because I rode these rides before. Right. But it was, it was nice getting a roller coaster again. Just just hang out. Yeah. You know, let me tell you that it heightens that stuff. Listen to music when you're a roller coaster. What the fuck? Yeah. You put that, your AirPods dude, when that, you're on a roller coaster? I haven't done it, but um, the way I found out was there was a ride. It's uh, Universal. Universal. I know exactly what you're talking about. And it, it plays music. The, the, yeah. The, you, so. <laughs> it's got like, like speakers all, in the seat? Yeah. So the speakers are built into the seat. And then we, you have like a little. Like, a screen. A little screen. Yeah. And you can pick like rock, jazz. I think Kanye West yeah. stronger. <laughs> and then uh, it you, was so lit. But sorry. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you like pick out what song you want, and then oh when the god. ride starts, it kicks on. It was, I was like, oh my god, that is such a great like, like added like sensory Experience, to it. Yeah. yeah. So definitely, I'm. I think I was thinking about that actually today. I was like, I'm like man, I should go to Carowinds since they're back open. I'm like. Oh, they are? Bring, yeah, so I was like, yeah. should I put my AirPods? In? And then I was like, that would suck so much ass just to like look over to the side of me while I'm on top of a roller coaster, and then my AirPod is six feet away from me or something. I'm like, does your AirPod hit somebody in the eye behind Ooh. you? <laughs> yeah, that's the ride when you first walk in Universal. You haven't been. It's lettery right there on your love. Really? Yeah. yeah no, I've only yeah. I've, I, w- I went to Universal one time when I was like twelve. Yeah. Um, the best vacation I ever had. Universal I, Universal yeah. Studios is the most lit place ever to go. Yeah, I went to Disney World when I was like 11 or 12, and then we went to Universal one day. And I was like, I wish I remembered more of it, but uh, best vacation I ever had. Universal Studios at the time was like big, but it wasn't like, I, I don't think it was as good as dun, it is dun, right dun, now. Dun, dun, uh, dun, 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 dun. So I have, I used to, as a kid, I used to go to uh, King's Dominion a lot. And I want to go there again. I what is that? To, it's in Virginia. You ever been to Kings Dominion growing up? Cause it was in Virginia. I've heard of Kings Dominion. It's like Bush Gardens. It's like the brands of these fucking companies, like Six gotcha. Flash, uh, Bush Gardens, and all. This I know my thing. cousin used to go a lot. Kings Dominion. I haven't been there. In but years. I heard like King. Well, I don't know about Kings Dominion, but I heard like Bush Gardens is butt. Um, well, when <laughs> we went to Wilmington, I think. I yeah, I've heard that Bush Gardens is not that great. No, Bush Gardens is awesome. I wish they had more rides though. How many rides do they have? A lot. <laughs> I just need more. Oh, you guys yeah. ever been to Dollywood? No. no, I should take you guys to Dollywood. That's a local place. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a, it's a place people come really. It was local to me, but it is it, it in fucking Tennessee. Yeah, it's a very it's um. I'm not going. It's to super it. country. It's a ton- country <laughs> like roller coaster place. It's I'm so much fun. Tennessee. Dolly Parton, <laughs> right? um, Dollywood. If I was getting a Nashville chicken sandwich or something there, like isn't that. this place with the KFC is local? Isn't that the KFC? Uh, well, oh, it, that's in K- Kentucky. 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 Kentucky yeah. Fried Chicken. Dumbass. Oh, I guess that's. A, <laughs> I guess that's, that is exactly what it's called, Kentucky Fried Chicken. But dude, like the the food there yeah. hits so much different. In Dollywood wood. They have wood fire stuff going. Oh, nice. They have like uh, all this cool shit. I was about to read the opposite because Bush Gardens food fucking sucks. Really? Yes. I don't. I don't like. <laughs> I don't like uh, theme park food. I it's kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah, it sucks. It's, it's like not great. It, I think it. Yeah, it definitely depends on like. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. Hey, but hey, except quick, for quick question for you, what the fuck is a funnel cake? Funnel you know cake. Funnel cake is? It's why fried is, like fried why, dough. Why is funnel cake is drizzled donuts? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's yeah. a very long donut. Yeah, just swirled long. around, and yeah. then it's powdered sugar. I have. I've had funnel cakes before. You know what it is? It's actually concentrated diabetes. I used to make funnel cake growing <laughs> up. It's really it's like pancake batter on that shit. It's like just fried up it pancake fried batter. Because I've I've eaten it. I I enjoy funnel cake. Yeah. But I never know. You know like, what I think what the, the fuck it is. You know what I think the origins of funnel cake is? Yeah. Someone fucked up a donut so bad that they're like, ah, fuck probably. You. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is <laughs> though. It's, it's, just, it's the exact same fucking thing. That's but, amazing. But it's delicious though, especially when it's fresh and hot. The slight crispy. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. When it's like doughy yeah. inside, yeah. but it's, it's like crispy yeah. outside. Let's go yeah. to Carowinds. You put a little strawberry. Dude, I want to go to yeah. Carowinds. Let's go to Carowinds right now. Get on the Fury. <laughs> I want it for free with Byron. Dude, usually. you ever been? You ever been uh, at night? No. Oh, dude. So there's there's a roller coaster that you ride and you look straight up. The Fury. Yeah. No, it's not yeah. Fury. I forget the name of it, but it's a you sit on your back. Yeah. And it goes backwards at first, and then it goes forward. What was that ride's called? I don't forget the name of it. Rode that at night. 
Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing funner than riding there's, that at night. Yeah. It's insane. I fucking I, I don't like roller coasters. Roller really? coasters. They they some roller coasters are, not, are are nice, but like roller coasters like that shit where you're just looking like straight up. Yeah. There's one that goes backwards. Uh I don't know if it's in Carowinds, but there's one that goes fine. You go forward through the ride and then it takes you backwards. I didn't know that it would take you backwards. <laughs> Um, yeah. But that's a trip. Scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> this is right. Like, it, it, I was <laughs> <laughs> like, you you go in and it stops. Yeah, and it drops and pitched black. It's just like, and like oh. and when it first there's did it a, last year, it scared the shit out of me. Yeah, there's a ride at Dollywood that does that. Yeah. It um, it's like it's one of my favorite. It's called the Fury, and it's like a theme park, it, or it's like um, so they'd have like like little like animatronics throughout the thing and it's all pitch black and stuff. Yeah. And there's one part in the ride where you're like going down <laughs> this way something. and it looks like a train's coming and then it just drops. You drop like 30 feet down Jesus. into the ground and goes, and then it splashes water on you. It's, it's so wild. I, I'm too much of an anxious person to like enjoy roller coasters to their full potential. I do it for the adrenaline, dude. That's what I do it for. Yeah. Like, see, no, I, it, I'm too relaxed for adrenaline. Like I, I have no use for adrenaline in my life. It just feels good. Like I remember yeah. like, uh, now I used to be afraid of roller coasters, yeah. but as I got older, I like, you know what I need to try this. <laughs> My biggest achievement is the three hundred feet drop I did at Florida. Ah, Jesus and Christ, like, that sounds it's awful. fifty dollars to get on that. Damn! And like I've been, I look, I remember <laughs> for six seconds. <laughs> no, it was, yeah, the thing is fast, but going up takes a while. But uh, I used to go to Florida so many times. I see that same place. Like I need to get up there one day. Oh um, yeah, they have yeah. a lot of those. I've always, I've never done one though. Do it. Next time I'm going to do the slingshot, it goes up. You've probably seen a lot of funny videos yeah. online of that thing. Yeah. Dude, could you yeah. imagine getting a, <laughs> pulling a baseball out of your pocket when you get to the top and go... <laughs> Kill somebody? <laughs> you, so you're like already 50... <laughs> you're already like 500 feet in the air and you're like, I'm going to chuck this yeah. and make it go up like 50 more feet. You're going right. to kill somebody when yeah. it lands. Dude. <laughs> or it just come back and hit you. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, I love adrenaline. Like, like, like when I got in the road coasters, it's like... <laughs> Did it already. Next to the next one. It's not even scary no more. Yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I, I love Universal Studios because they have um, the motion rides, which yeah. are almost as better, either is as good or better than normal roller coasters. I disagree. My motion motion saying, rides are so baller. I don't. No, the Harry Potter ride? They're too gimmicky, dude. No, you no, sit dude. in a seat and just look at shit around you. Like that's not. Well, no. Well, yeah. the Harry Potter one it moves you around. You the move into one? different sections, but they have like flames and. They have like all this cool shit in it, yeah. but uh, Transformers one was cool. The yeah, well that one's like, that one was okay compared to like the Harry Potter one. The Mummy ride was awesome. Fast and Furious, you been on that one? I don't think I did the Fast and Furious. <laughs> Fast and the Furious. Yeah, <laughs> you literally see them driving. It's like a big string or some shit. Yeah, you driving this bus. I think it was a bus or some shit. Spider Man one's cool too. Yeah, you see fucking that's a discover at uh, what's her name? It's a symbiote from Venom, Carnage. Carnage. Oh, Carnage? Yeah. yeah. Scream. That's when I discovered Scream, the character. Oh, I From Universal Studios. It's just real good. But, like, the, one of the best rides there, which this is like, I, I normally get um, see, like sickness. Yeah. And I, I end up taking a Germamine to, yeah. like, so, because I get motion sickness pretty bad. Um, but there's two, there's the this ride called the Twin Dragons. It's a Harry Potter theme ride, but it's like a, just a legit roller coaster on a motion one. There's so many corkscrews. In the ride, I've I've never had this. I've never had a roller coaster do this to me, but I got shocked. off the so that we I went on it. It's like a ten minute ride. Good God, it's, it's long. nonstop. Just I think there was like one time there was like six corkscrews in a row, and then I think <laughs> it goes backwards at one point. Fuck that! Literally got off the roller coaster with all these people, and I was dizzy. I was like literally dizzy because we we went in so many loops, and it's kind of cool though because there's. You get up to the right, and there's two splits. Yeah. And there's two different roller coasters in one place. Yeah. And it's, it's the same roller coaster, but they go opposite of each other. Yeah. It's no, I really think uh, I think I went on that ride when it was called like like Ice and Fire Dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. I it, when I went to Universal, so I w- I went to Disney, and I was like ten years old, and the hotel that my dad booked. Um, <laughs> what year was this? It was like ugh, fucking two thousand two thousand ish, like early two thousand. Okay. I was like probably two thousand five. So I went in Florida 2006, seven. Really? really? Yeah, that's really the first funny. time I went. It's like, Real. if I met Brian, that'd be hilarious. Yeah. There's a world. picture. There's actually a picture of us, like, <laughs> standing right next to each other, but we just don't know it. I remember when I went to <laughs> Florida when I was a kid and saw uh, the Hulk movie, like, what, when fire. when there was a hurricane outside. Yeah. <laughs> Isabel? That's when Isabel happened. That was a terrible storm. Yeah, I was yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? Uh, 
mostly not 2003, probably like, yeah, because my sister was born around there. T- yeah, 2003. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, what, yeah. Yeah, was yeah my dad was fishing a fishing tournament there oh, that was God. like on TV, and there was like a hurricane going on. And I was like in the theater. Hurricane. That was like one of the hugest like storms in North Carolina. Yeah, it, yeah I think yeah. I feel like that one fucked up. Oh, it was North Carolina. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Florida. I thought it was Florida. Florida and Puerto Rico. I mean, it was hitting. I think it, was it went up hitting. like that. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so I went to this fucking hotel when I was like 10 years old, and it had an all you can eat. Uh, food situation I was like kind of 24-7 there's like a bunch of fridges and like hot plates and then you just grab whatever you need and it would automatically charge my dad for the food um, Jesus. I <laughs> ate so me and my brother destroyed like five brownies a day for like oh, for like a week and a half yeah just two there was like big chunky fucking fudgy brownies <laughs> the most delicious brownie I've ever had ate so much of them we got violently ill <laughs> by the time, by the fifth day, we were like violently ill from this fucking brownie. Tell me you didn't get on a roller coaster after that. Uh, th- so, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I know the puke was <laughs> God given. It was like black. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we destroyed all these brownies. Like each of us got a brownie every night for five days. Bushing. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then that same day in the morning, I was like, I'm going to destroy a brownie too. Cause fuck it. This is Disney World. <laughs> And I ate a brownie, and then we went to Universal, <laughs> and I got in the Twin Dragon fucking slide. And I didn't throw up, but that is the closest that I've been to fucking throwing up while I was riding a roller coaster. Yeah. And it was rainy that day. So, like, the, we sat in the second car of the ride, and the first one had a, a bunch of water, like, pulled yeah. over from the rain. And when the fucking ride, like, sped away to do it, all of that water hit me and my brother like right in the face what a bad day just fucking splash <laughs> right in the fucking face and we walked out of there we were soaked the rain hit our eyes like it was raining <laughs> while we were on the roller coaster so it felt like you were getting stung by bees every time that yeah. it, like a drop <laughs> yeah but it did. and then we not only were we sopping wet it was cold i was literally so damp that you could like squeeze me out and then we got sick for the next three days. <laughs> that was funny. Fucking pneumonia and brownie sickness. I, I I tell people this all the time. I don't get motion sickness from roller coasters, but in a car, it fucks me up. <laughs> See, I was oh, I, I used to get motion sickness because when I would, would sit in the backseat of my parents' car, I would mm. I would throw up all the time. I remember eating a big pack of Reese Cubs, bro, and throwing that up. <laughs> Just- <laughs> Chocolate and peanut butter. I was like, ooh. It's even the passenger side. When I'm driving, I'm fine with passenger side. I get sick. You, you still get it. Yeah. Annie's the same way. She fucking hates being in the passenger seat. But roller coasters can kill that shit. No yeah. problem. I no think, problem. well, I used to get, so when I was a kid, I used to get a bunch of things from the back of a car and then got over it, but still get it on roller coasters. I don't know if I still get it now on roller coasters because every time I, I just go to take German just in case because I don't want to throw up. But dude, <laughs> I remember one time I went to a fair and I thought, I'm like, I got on one rock ride, and I you remember the, you know the swings where you go up in a circle and shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I rode that. So this is my this is my logical thinking. Yeah. I'm gonna ride a ride, and I'm gonna throw up, and then it'll be fine for the rest of the thing. <laughs> so ride this ride, uh, get off of it, puke, and I'm like, all right, we good to go, boys. Let's get it. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get on the dra- gravitron. And oh, if, it, if you know thing. what it, if you know what a gravitron is, it is a roller coaster that it spins so fast that yeah. it just you just suction cup to the wall. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Have my like fair a, had this too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, every fair usually has one where it's just a mat on the side of the wall and you just go so fast you get sucked to it. Yeah. Bro, I was fighting for my life not to throw up because that is the one carnal <laughs> sin. Added. The yeah, that is the carnal sin at the, at yeah, on right. like throwing up. Do not throw up on a, on you know, a gravitron, gravitron where <laughs> it's going to get locked in place on your body. I haven't been to the, my county fair in 15 years. Dude, the, only ca- the only the only fair that I went to was back in Puerto Rico. Yeah. They're they're not really a thing back in Puerto Rico, but my school rented out like county fair equipment for some reason and like put it in the parking lot. I think yeah, yeah, like a like a mechanical bull. We, and we call it right? field day. That's what we called it. Our, our field day was just our field day was literally just doing sports. Yeah, that's what a field day is. Your yeah. field day had like animatronics. And no, stuff? we had like the, the they when he said rented some shit. I just yeah. instantly thought of like a jumping. We call those. Uh, bouncy houses, bouncy and houses, like or some shit. We, yeah. yeah, I remember. Oh, I think yeah, my school did do that once. Yeah. That was lit. They, they yeah, they rented <laughs> the all like they rented all like tiny yeah. roller coasters and like fucking Yo, sweet, tiny expensive. roller coasters. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had a tiny. We had school. A ti- my school was expensive. Yeah. Uh, I, I went to private school back home because uh, Puerto Rican economy sucks and like public school is garbage. 
but it fucking got into one of those gravitons that like they had like a miniature version of it, like just a smaller one. I wouldn't trust a miniature <laughs> gravitron, bro. I barely trust the regular one. <laughs> And, like, I remember we got in there, and you're, like, not tied by anything. And I remember that I tried to, like, take a step to see if I could stand yeah. without being sucked into <laughs> the wall. I took two steps, made it outside of it, tripped, and, like, fucking slammed, like, an anime <laughs> character back into the wall. It was great. I've been on that's, – that's, 15 years ago, I went on that fucking thing, the gravity. I remember it being greenish. It was, like, nighttime. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. great. It's like super neon and fucking. Yeah. 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 They close up the doors and then like, it's like a, you're on a spaceship. Yeah. It's but, I, right. but when I got off the, I, I, so to get to the end of my story, um, was fighting for my life to not throw up. Soon as the ride stop, I like slid back down the thing, stop, just walked one step forward and then went, <laughs> and the guy looked right at me and I looked right at him and he just shook his head and I'm like. All right, and it just ran That's out. You guys ever had a ride that hurt you physically? Yeah, that happened yeah. to me in uh, Ohio. See the point? Like, what happened to you? Wait, yeah. let me guess. It's one of those um, the instead of like the strapping, it like it has like a thing that comes over your chest and shoulders. Yeah, I remember slapping the side really hard. Y- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember one ride. I wasn't. I guess it wasn't really that big, and I would just I was hitting side to side. Mm-hmm. It was fucking me up, bro. Right. I was taking left and right hooks at the same I time. Remember, uh, this thing, I remember this I remember those right. I don't know what it was or what it's called, but it had like like a pillowy kind of like bracket for your head, so like it would like that hold can, you. That's already not a good sign. And I remember like I don't know. I guess I had a small head at the time, but like <laughs> the thing started going, and I was like fucking. Nice. <laughs> yeah. See the see the point is one of those places like the landmarks people go in the United States where there's a rod for what it was called. You can see because it's close to Canada. Yeah. So when you get on this fucking rod, it's like this, Ugh. but you can see like the Canada border when you go up. That's how high it is. That's crazy. It's like f- five hundred. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna explain what you just did. What that? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because there's no audio. <laughs> Ex- how do you yeah, we should that? we should be considered for yeah. audio. It's, so it's like a big. How would you say like? Um, it's like a big arc. Yeah, like, a slope. A big, yeah, big yeah. Arc. Yeah. yeah, it's like a super tall ass. It's like, like one of those like like Discovery Channel yeah. videos. You see like oh, this is the biggest ride in North Carolina. It's like one of those fucking rides. Yeah. It's like it's like what like six hundred feet up. Some and shit then like that. Yeah. It's like just straight up, and then you do go like one inch forward, and then you go straight down. Yeah, it's like it's at Sandusky, Ohio. Been in two thousand. Fuck that, man. Yeah, it's, it's called Cedar Point. Cedar Point. Yeah. Oh, I remember riding like the the longest slide, one of the longest slide, in, like water slide in North Car- North America. Was it was at Six Flags? You, when I was going down it, I remember like you're almost going a ninety degree. You're going so yeah. so sharp down, and I remember thinking if I lean forward, I would fall out. Yeah, you just like flip I, off. you literally would die. No, so I thought about this week though. I've never been other than working there. I've never been to a water park before. They are. I, I think water parks are like the worst entertainment. They're kind of gross. They're, they're, yeah, not only are they gross, every machine there is deadly. Every ride is every ride is made out of like either like metal that will like scorch your skin off in the middle of July <laughs> sun, <laughs> Stop, to or plastic. Stop funny. <laughs> 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 no, I was working at a water park. Some kid bust his head on his. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? <laughs> it, was a, it was a serious situation. Everyone was around. Them. Dude, there's it's blood. Like there's blood. blood going down the slide. <laughs> Could you, no, it'd be the worst part. It would be like the second kid to go down. It'd be sliding yeah. in the blood. Water parks, are, as someone who worked there, they're very fucking dangerous. Oh, they're terrifying. Ter- uh, I, I remember going into a fucking water slide. Yeah. And like, uh, like a small, not even like a big water park. <laughs> But it was like a water slide, and like one of the pieces of plastic was like kind of bumpy, like it had it had dented oh, because yeah. of the sun. And I remember like every time you went down because of the speed that you were going, and you would hit that bump, <laughs> you would fucking fly like six inches into the air. So you'd just be like, "Wee, bang!" And just like fucking. I don't know if you guys were ever like that. me, but like there where it'd be like a tube cut in half, you would try to be like, I always try to go up. <laughs> I, I would always like, like I'm skateboarding yeah. in my <laughs> body <laughs> and I would try to get to the top of it. I did. I remember getting to like the top of one. Cause mm-hmm. I, I got, I got enough. Like I arced myself up in there. There was no water at the top of those. So you're just going <laughs> and, like you're burning so little bad, plastic so into bad. your bag, dude. It was awful. Dude, I, I, I fucking, I remember being in the pool and like one of my friends took the waters like right before me, but he didn't wait long enough. Yeah. And I got like drop kicked into the water. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, we got to get rid of the water parks. That's something from the past. Yeah. got to throw it away. Nah, man. Keep them. Keep them around. Nah, it, it but, seems so like uncontrolled. 
someone can drown. The bigger the bigger it's ones chaos. you go to, yeah, it's chaos. It's chaos. no the the. Six Flags Water Park is the most chaos one because that one's massive and they have all these massive right. Yeah. I'll tell you what one is fun though is the uh, tornado one where it's like a big funnel tube and you take a big raft down it. Yeah. Those are always fun. Nah. Or leads river. I'm just scared. Of, I'm just scared of water for that shit, man. Like water is terrifying to me. It's gross. Like it's, it's nasty. Yeah. There's like some kid. It peeing. is gross. There's always like disgusting. six thousand like band aids just floating around. <laughs> I don't want to even think about that. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very disgusting. We gotta got get rid of uh, water parks. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get rid of those. <laughs> <You gotta> <laughs> I don't like those. Like, abolish them. <laughs> abolish the water. Make them illegal. Send them a letter to Biden. They're gonna st- me. <laughs> get rid of them. set up speakeasies where they're just like backyard like oh, water setups. Backyard water parks. <laughs> what? Just a dude. Just like make it illegal. It's like the prohibition. <laughs> just some dude in his backyard with like three acres of land building shitty. You water. know what's dangerous? Those slip and slides. Ah, there, bro. You put you put a bunch of dish soap over them. <laughs> <laughs> you make a rain. Did you ever do that? A slip and slide? It was so slip and slide. cheap, though. Yeah, dude. Yeah. No, they're dangerous. And, like, it's, it's, um, you would get so many cuts and burns. Oh, yeah. No. Terrifying. Plus, it's like you get grass all over you, itchy and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who like, thought of that? Who thought it was like, yeah, the commercials make it look fun. What? The commercials made it look fun. Yeah. 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 But, the, but you can never, but that, it was always weird because you could only use those things on hills. Yeah. No one ever tried to use them on flat ground. That's what you we couldn't get them to work. <laughs> yeah, it's like slightly not, it's not straight. Yeah. It's like slightly wrinkled. It's like yeah. <laughs> or you would walk by and you'd step on it and <laughs> eat shit. <laughs> Remember those big blue pools people used to have back in the backyard? Yeah, yeah they I, still have them. They the, have the them? inflatable ones yeah. or whatnot. See, I, 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 I've, every time I've been in a body of water, I've almost drowned. <laughs> So like stay I, away just, from I just avoid Brian. them. I just avoid them altogether. You should naturally you know swim? how to swim, though. You're about to say that. He should. I like, don't know how to swim. I don't you're know. You're from an island? island. <laughs> 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 I, I, you gotta swim off that bitch. Fucking flu. You should be letting your blood to swim. <laughs> yeah, but with a plane crash, you gotta swim out. <laughs> Dude, if a plane crashes and I land in the water, just just consider me that. <laughs> I mean, like, you're, you're, think, you're thinking about, like, if a plane was crashing, you're just like, all right, I got this. You just open the door and be like, all right, all right I get this jump right before I get to the water. So it's not like I a thought massive. I've done times. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you would jump out and just go right into the blade of the plane. <laughs> it would probably like fucking break your bones as you see the No, dude, the force, yeah. Sometimes like when people jump from a really high point into water, yeah. it's not the water kills them. It's just a force it's of you hitting the It's the impact. Yeah. Cause it's like hitting concrete. It's, it's like, it's awful. Yeah. Water is terrible. Let, let me just, it's water is element. terrifying. Yeah. Water is the most dangerous thing it's what, that seven, humans interact with at any given time. Water is like what? Seven pounds per gallon? What? What? Like you know, like this is a, you know what's insane is like when you go so far you have to decompress because oh, the water yeah, yeah. is so when heavy because of the pressure. I think I think pressure. water is like seven pounds per gallon. Seven psi per gallon of yeah. water yeah. per square inch. <laughs> <laughs> science with drunken shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. this is, these science. are my favorite moments in drunken joke where like we vaguely remember information and have like, <laughs> no attempt to at corroborating it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I uh, water terrifying. It, it's it's like the most I love, bro. Let me. Yeah. You want to hear a horror story? Yeah. Your body's seventy percent water. I. <laughs> you better look out, man. Like it's right there. <laughs> Brian is sitting, laying in bed, sleeping one night. And he's like, "Oh God, I'm drowning." He's like shaking, drowning. <laughs> can't breathe. It's like, breathe. It's like Uzumaki from Jinji. You just catch me looking at a cup of water. <laughs> oh my God! Can you imagine someone drowning when he almost fell? Did you? Did that you happens all the time. Did you guys always you say, start, you like, say that? No, you say that as a joke, but that happens all of the time. Just People drink. just drown in their sleep. Yeah. People just like Throw produce too much saliva. Bro, like, and how, do you, how do you even drown? Just start drinking. <laughs> just drink it. What are you doing? <laughs> Couldn't be me drowning. <laughs> what are you going to say? A guy like me? Just start drinking it. <laughs> just drink the ocean water. I think it's I might fun. be a little bit thirsty. Yeah, mm. gold. <laughs> Drain that. Idiot. <laughs> Drain that like 3 a.m. water, baby. Just have that water crinkle. What were you going to say before that? Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> I lost my <laughs> train of thought after I was talking about just drinking water. What's <laughs> been the best vacation that you guys have had? Uh, when I first went to Florida in 2006 or 2007. Did you go to Disney World? Mm-hmm. Nice. You know, Disney World Universal. That's yeah. the last time I've been to Disney World. I didn't go back. When I went, yeah. I was like, how old were you? 10. Yeah, same, yeah. same here. That's same what here. I asked, like, like, maybe, maybe we did go at the same time. Yeah. I went around August. Change that. I just turned 11 because it was like after uh, my birthday. Nice. When yeah. is your birthday? August 3rd. Sick. I was late for school that year. <laughs> that year? The <laughs> yeah. whole year? No, the, uh, like a month late for school. I don't know how my mother managed that. Probably I went just, to school like a month late. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. 
So. Dude, I will have no qualms about getting my kid out of a fucking school to go take a trip. It's like, yeah, you're My parents it. would not, for yeah. the life of me, let me miss school. Yeah, my parents wouldn't either, but I was like, I don't give a shit. It's not that. I was afraid to ask because I think they would be think I'm lying. Even though I'm clearly dying here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to call because it was like, eh, she probably thinks I'm like, lying or something. Yeah. I was that kid. I remember one time, like, I was like, I, I just wanted to see if I could do it. I, uh, act, I, uh, so, like, when we left the lunchroom in school, like, elementary school, they'd have, like, a big trash can where you just dump your tray. Yeah. And uh, there'd be, like, the lunch lady standing, like, there by it. Yeah. And I just chewed up a bunch of food. And when it was time to leave, I kept it in my mouth. And I just walked over to it and dumped my tray. And then I just threw it out of my – like, I just spit it out of my mouth. Why? Because I wanted to just act like I threw up. Fucking and then they're like, are you sick? And I'm like, mm-hmm. And I was like, I was like, would this plan actually work? I actually even just all off the brain, off the top of the dome. I was like, let me see if this works. And they're like, and they, they sent me to the nurse. And I'm like, all right, we're gonna call your mom. And that was so awkward. Home. Go to the nurse. And I was like, I was like, oh my god, it's working. And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can't look like that. Because I'm clear. I'm clearly lying. I remember yeah. I did one of those typical challenges with a kid, like pit milk and corn. Yeah. I'm like, drink this. I was like, I did that. Ew. You're, you're a weird kid. You know what? One of the stupidest stories I think I did or things I did at school. I brought me that little, what's that? Bunny on a milk shit, Nesquik or some shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nesquik. those things are awful. Remember those portable drinks they had? Yeah. Oh, I, I would, no, brought no. one to school, not knowing the context of how milk works. Yeah. And it was like warm, so I was drinking it throughout the day. Like, that shit sl- slaps. Warm go to milk? The- <laughs> warm milk? I go to, as lunch ends, I fucking the, like, threw up. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you don't like milk. That's the origin oh my story. God. <laughs> you no. fucking had some curdled fucking warm milk. Dude, I bet it was chunky <laughs> going down too. I bet it wasn't even salt. No, it was like, it was just, it was warm milk, but it wasn't like chunky enough. I remember like just drinking it. I remember yeah. like, you ever heard like, you saw that my mind there. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Do you ever see yeah. TV like where they were like, I can't sleep. So like, they were like, let me give you some warm milk. I yeah. tried that once. I'm like, let me see if this warm milk shit actually lives up to what I'm seeing on TV. No, it's awful, bro. It gets like a skin on top of it. It's not hot milk. It's warm milk. You probably had it too long. It, no, it makes no, you cozy. No, no. Warm milk is, is – cold milk is incredible. Warm milk is garbage. Ice hot co- milk is delicious. Like, and you put, you put like uh, – like when you do a latte, just put some milk and put some vanilla syrup in that shit. Delicious. Solid. Call it a steam. Mint. <laughs> what was the days where they actually – you know what's funny? I – I don't like milk, but I would drink the old-fashioned milk in a glass bottle because I heard it's like a slight sweetness to it. Oh, yeah. I would drink that. Yeah. The, Probably because the light, the way the light hits it. Chemical right. It's same, same thing with like beer bottles. Like the way, if there's like a green bottle, that beer will taste different from a clear beer. I'm like the 50s had a milk in a glass bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that always looked way better than regular yeah, yeah. like yeah. carton milk. I heard there's like slight sweetness to those milk. When you had a milk Was man. it sweet? Yes. It, the chemical process the, probably was way different because they didn't have, you know, it was like less preserved. It was a yeah. local farm. Here, here, here we go too. again with the like half knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, bro science. <laughs> <laughs> um, Monkeys will fuck you up, man. <laughs> yeah. the, Coke, the you Coke. seen a chimp without air? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you ever seen a chimp without hair? Without air? Without hair. Oh, oh no. Hair. Oh. You ever seen a bear without hair? Terrifying. The, terrifying. Terrifying. Creatures. Terrifying. Creatures. I was making fun of Joe Rogan, but I'm glad <laughs> that it turned into actual discourse. <laughs> yeah, I've seen both those creatures. <laughs> creatures. Terrifying. Creatures without hair. Just anything without hair, I think, is going to look yeah. wild. Even cats. Yeah, well, cats will Cats look without hair look weird. terrifying. It's like, look like beerus. Bro, let's get you a t- t- <laughs> toupee or something. What, <laughs> what makes you want to buy a hairless cat? Uh, if you have allergies. severe allergies to cats, oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, That's maybe just, maybe just them. lazy. If you're a Bond villain, you might want to get a hairless <laughs> cat. You know, I get his reference, nice. but I don't get it. Uh, uh, yeah, because Pran is a character. Oh, I, I remember what I was going to ask earlier. Uh, when did you guys start drinking water? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta start drinking water. Cause I didn't you start. Gotta repeat the fucking question like it's since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, like, I know what you mean. Uh, I don't. What the fuck do you mean? You know what you mean? He means like, like that's your main drink. That's your go-to drink. Oh, like, I never drank water as a kid. Me either. I always drank milk. <laughs> <I> drink <laughs> soda. Could you imagine? Could you imagine me playing like pee wee football and this like? <laughs> <laughs> you have milk with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, milk. Why do you have milk? <laughs> just, just going over to the sidelines. <laughs> I have to run down the sides of my mouth under my shirt. It's just white liquid. Ew. 
And I hate milk I'm too. Kidding. That would throw I'm up kidding. I'm kidding. Like It'd that. be like Gatorade. It's but like, like that fucking like sticky. <laughs> dude, could you could you imagine being like hot and sweaty <laughs> drinking a cold glass of milk? No, but milk. No jokes aside, milk's help though, right? <laughs> Isn't milk preferred? <laughs> So I just keep thinking about it running down the side of my mouth. <laughs> Finish like a blazing hot tennis like, match. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine playing a hot tennis match? And this is a glass of milk, no lid, just a glass. <laughs> it's like a big ass <laughs> tall glass. Yeah. Sitting on the sidelines, uh, baking in hot. the sun. You got your hair like this. <laughs> yeah, you put your hand on the hip. Hand on yeah. the hip, you go. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he was got a milk mustache in 90 degree weather i know that that, that, that helps though jokes aside though, right isn't milk really good for shit like that uh, it's no? I, no, really, I don't know i really i, I couldn't good. imagine though playing could you playing sports on a full glass of milk uh, <laughs> milk, gets, milk gets so sticky like on your throat after you drink it it's like it coats it yeah it, like coats the fucking throat <laughs> I can't imagine doing no. any activity after drinking milk. I would, um, no, but like for like dinner, I don't, and this might just be a white person thing. It is a fucking white person thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I hated that in movies. I, this, I, uh, <laughs> no, I live up to the stereotype 100%. Um, fucking drink milk while eating Could you imagine, could you imagine someone meat. not knowing what we look like? <laughs> yeah, no like, it's like an audio only listener. They've only ever heard us, but like, they have no doubt that I'm white, taste black, and Ron's <laughs> Puerto Rican. Yeah. But, uh, I do live up to the stereotype because I did have milk as like, it's, my mom would always like, give me the option. like, you want water or milk? And I'm like, milk. Ugh. I was like, I, d- I didn't like the taste of water. Mainly because I drink Creek water. Creek water? Yeah, we had a, they fucking go outside and just like scoop it. No, we had, well, there, we had like a pipe or the way our, um, water from our house would work. Cause I lived in a cabin yeah. was, uh, we just got our water from a Creek and I guess it would filter or whatever. Gotcha. I would hope to God it filtered. <laughs> creek water probably was not that good for you. Dude, no. I, <clears throat> the idea of fucking like having like a cold, like a just delicious ribeye and having a cold glass of milk with it sounds disgusting. I hated that. Like what? what there was a, I had an yeah. old, old Instagram post and I had some uh, leftover Japanese hibachi yeah. and there was a massive glass <laughs> of chocolate milk next to it. That's the most childish fucking thing. Yeah, I was like, I had been like 16 or 17 when I posted that. Oh my God. I was like, ooh. I probably wouldn't do that now. Yeah, I didn't get that drinking glass of milk like a, like a four course meal. If you like, if you just grew up, this? I mean, if I grew up just you know drinking milk, I mean, you just thought it was normal. I thought everyone just drank milk. No, <laughs> I seen shit in movies too. Like a question, what the fuck are they drinking milk? Me it was like a Pepsi. I, I never thought about it, and I was listening to this <laughs> yeah, podcast yeah. where they were giving this guy grief about drinking milk with his dinner, and I'm like, I drink milk with my dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, no, I started drinking. Uh, I drink milk by weird. itself. Like if after I've had dinner, I'll have a glass. If of that milk. one's like some cookies, man, yeah. has some milk. Yeah, with I didn't it. do that either. Milk. Hey, we all established that you fucking shrunk out yeah, milk. Yeah, we yeah. already knew what happened to you with the milk, fucking man. fucking hated that. We gotta get rid of milk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't allow. <laughs> no, uh... Fuck, I was gonna say. No, could you imagine, though, like... I don't having, remember, I'm have, sorry. You guys ever had, like, eggs with, like, chicken? Yeah, shut up. Kazar. Just, you're have eating... Have you told you that? <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> the day we first went to the con. <laughs> and Kazar made us eggs and chicken. That one morning we was eating. It was it was good. Yeah. Then we I remember pausing like, huh? Isn't this the same thing? Cause our, he just started dying laughing. I think all of us did. Yeah, it was like, like it was not wrong. Yeah. Because I started thinking of like, man, what if you just had a steak with milk? And I'm like, yeah. I'm just eating everything else is cow. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I I am Navajo. <laughs> I am using nothing the goes to waste. Nothing yeah. was going to waste on the cow. We were stupid. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ed boys. Uh, <laughs> I started drinking <laughs> the true story. I just started drinking water with my cheap ass. <laughs> Cause like, uh, cause like when I started getting with Aja, I started yeah. drinking water more. Yeah. And we go to the restaurant and it never clicked to me like water's free. Yeah. I'm like, hmm. I feel, I do feel weird though when I go to the theater <laughs> yeah. and get water. I that don't do that is a weird combination. Now. Water and popcorn. Yeah, that's true. That's about salt water. 
I tell you what. I'll tell you what the yeah. combo is. You get a big thing of popcorn with a cherry coke. I'm Dude, I wish I could drink regular like like sugared coke because I, I don't know how it. you drink diet coke. I have to. It's god awful. I have no. It's not Everybody coke. Co- I I, Here, I here's what happens. You drink diet coke, you get addicted to diet coke. That's what everyone. Yeah, They're, my like. You ever say, you ever hear like like diet coke drinkers sound just like smokers when you talk <laughs> to them? About diet coke. This guy drinks diet coke every. Yeah, month. it's like I I drink that I've drink like five diet cokes in a day and then realize I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's see, bad dude yeah, I used to drink dude. like it's soda awful. all the time but dude diet coke and I'm not kidding it tastes like th- someone poured like it Water tastes like it. coke but someone poured a bunch of salt into it that's it's so salty it's, 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 that's how I feel about sparkling water I fucking hate sparkling water oh sparkling water. water is delicious sparkling water is they got garbage. me on it yeah, yeah. I, have only, I only like two flavors of LaCroix Anything, anything other than that Dude, is absolute garbage. Coconut LaCroix might be the worst thing I've ever put in my yeah, mouth. It's garbage. Is, you ever there, coconut there even, water in general? There, there was yeah. even... Also the worst thing. I, I saw... Coconut water. My favorite American dad joke is like... Klaus was like... He was like out of his fish bowl. If you ever seen American Dad. Yeah. Klaus, Klaus is a talking fish. He was out of his fish bowl and he was like... There's like... <laughs> he had like three options to like keep himself alive. It was like rat piss, uh, sewer water. <laughs> and he was like... Ugh, coconut liqueur. <laughs> that is still my favorite joke. <laughs> it is such a god awful drink. Coconut water tastes like someone put water in their mouth, spit it back out, and tell you to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I always thought like I was always under the impression like, oh man, coconut water gotta be hit. Yeah, here. same. Because yeah. listen, I'm an islander. All right, like I had a coconut tree right behind my fucking house. That's cool, dude. And we would uh, like we would sometimes we would chop the coconut and like open it up and like drink the coconut water. The most vile thing. It's like thick water. It's like <laughs> I would imagine that's what a, like probably what a cactus would taste like. Like slice it open. It, it, cactus probably be better. Probably closer uh, to like a very like tea. Yeah, I fucking hate coconut. coconut yeah, I guess so like, because it's a plant. <clears throat> yeah, is coconut a fruit? Yeah, it's a seed. It's, yeah, it's a seed, right? <laughs> yeah, it is a fruit. The meat is fruit. You know what's bullshit? Like what? I think uh, what what is something that like, grows off of, like like a like a tomato is like a fruit. Yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes are fruit. Are fruit yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, tom- tomatoes are fruit. It should. It, it's but it's a category as like you see you know, like you like when you think of it, you're like oh vegetable. Yeah, that's true. Because like, it grows up. Because it's not like it, particularly sweet. But it has like a little tree. Like ketchup. Oh, that's right. It's fruit sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine eating like a tomato with some ketchup on it? That makes me mad. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me angry. Nothing goes like to waste. <laughs> Tay really had like, a visceral like reaction that. to that. <laughs> I see. He, he, I saw the flash of rage in his eyes. <laughs> Tay did it. Tay made catch up. <laughs> Can you imagine that? What's wrong with you? You do that. <laughs> Just see it. I like different. It <laughs> I like different forms of this. Mm. One time I was eating like, I was drinking like tomato juice with like I think I was eating some with ketchup in it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm having the whole thing. I'm, like, <laughs> 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 I'm eating everything out of this cow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tomato juice smacks. It's soup. What does it taste like? <laughs> <It's soup. laughs> you know, I didn't know. There was, Tay, do you like tomato soup? Yeah. You know there's milk in it? Yeah. I mean, I can eat some with milk in it. I didn't, I didn't know there was milk in tomato soup. Well, it depends on the it depends on the tomato soup that you're eating. You know what's if it's good? A bisque, if it's a bisque, it's got heavy cream. Yeah. If it's a tomato soup, it's just tomato. You know what's really good in it? Wait, tomato, uh, tomato? What was that? To, I, sorry. I... <laughs> English is bullshit. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's all I have that to say. That is a phrase that's been mentioned many times. Yeah. <laughs> English is bullshit. It's like tomato, tomato. I say it in You say potato. Who's, you're an asshole. You say potato. <laughs> <laughs> you're a real asshole. It's like saying uh, Jif. Jif. Like, come on. Okay. Bro. Yeah, it's, we all know it's. Good. It's actually pronounced. The creator says Jif. Yeah. The creator can go fuck himself. It's a fucking G. <laughs> yeah. It's public <laughs> it's, domain. And yeah. we, we kind of just re really? the word. It's public? Yeah. It's like people saying Karen. It's like they've changed the name. You know what I fucking hate? When people say caram- caramel. It's caramel. 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 Not caramel. 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 Uh, caramel. Car- caramel sounds, I think that's like a country thing, right? Yeah, but when he said it one time, like, no, it's fucking caramel. Caramel. Caramel, caramel. caramel. So, caramel sounds somewhere elegant. Caramel. caramel. Yeah, it's caramel. You mean drizzle some caramel, caramel on the back of your neck, baby? <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Don't look at me when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, well, Tay's going to get up and leave if I say it towards him. <laughs> I didn't know what you just said. Like, drizzle some caramel on the back of your neck, baby? In the back of your neck. Why neck? So it like, <laughs> comes to you subtly behind you. <laughs> That'd be no. That's dude. You know what's awful? Like whipped cream. Yeah. Like you ever had like that? That's after smell on you. No. After eating like whipped cream. Can't say I have. It's awful. You it's like, like a it's like a rotten milk. 
No, I don't think I. What, what happened? I think you're. I think you're alone in that one. <laughs> yeah, I think I am. Who hurt you? Me. Who, who I ate like whipped cream on like ice cream once, and then I had. I guess I got it on my nose or something. Yeah. And then it was like a wafting, rotten uh, milk smell. It's probably been it for too long. <clears throat> I did. I had a. This is why I can't eat Olive Garden anymore. I reheated. I took home some leftover pasta, reheated in the microwave, and it smelled like puke in my house. Oh God. It just wafted, and then I ate it, and then I just had that scent on me, and I'm like. This is, I feel, to, took a shower, couldn't get it off me. Did that have Parmesan I, cheese? I don't know what it was, but it, it... Parmesan cheese is, like, two chemicals away from being puke. Really? <laughs> yeah. I use it all the time. Yeah, Parmesan. There's some people that, that are really sensitive to Parmesan cheese, because it... it, it, it like basil? There's an acid. There's a, there's a specific or acid. Cilantro. Right? Cilantro, yeah. Some people, like, think it's soap, like, tastes like soap. Yeah, but there's a specific it. acid in Parmesan cheese that is also <laughs> present in vomit, and... It's like chemically like too stupid <laughs> science. Too like <laughs> Yeah, it, it really is. <laughs> but it's like so close to the actual chemical composition of vomit that some people cannot eat Parmesan cheese. Bro, here we go again. Yeah. Dude, we should have we should have two do, no more podcasts. We should do a science podcast and we should dude. do a food podcast. <laughs> dude, dude. Science podcast <laughs> would be so half assed. Dude, yeah. dude bro. That's the fun dude of it. Bro, it's just like call knowledge. it dude bro science. Drunken knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> We get hammered drunk and talk about things that we think we know what we're talking about. Oh, my God. Like the alien episode thing we did is watching, uh, we watch Ancient Aliens or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that'd be awesome. We just do yeah. a show where we just watch Ancient Aliens. That shit's so stupid. Dude. We get Brian's dad on here. <laughs> dude, that'd be hilarious. Dude, my dad will where talk your fucking ear off. He's, he's in a, Charlotte. He's, he's in Charlotte. Charlotte. But he will fucking destroy your that? brain. I'm pretty sure, yeah. He, he, he's writing a whole goddamn thesis about it. <laughs> he's right got now? a fucking book. Yeah, he's got like... Your dad has books? He's writing one. It's going to be his magnum opus. <laughs> he's going to fucking... Here's the thing. I hope that he publishes it, and I hope that he makes a shit ton I, of money. I hope he makes it on Ancient Aliens. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so awesome, dude. Go full circle. I wish we wielded some type yeah. of power like that where we could get your dad on Ancient Aliens. <laughs> Publishing agent. But my dad's writing a thesis on ancient... Uh, not ancient aliens, but like... He's writing a thesis on how, like, Bible mythology and religious mythology is really just Anunnaki mythology or Anunnaki fact inter- interpreted by humans throughout the ages. So, like, every every religion has the same creation story. I, I kind of yeah. believe him there. It all it, came from like, something. I really, it's, like, it's, I, I, yeah, I don't think he's... It's plausible. It, it, it's, it is. absolutely plausible. But uh, he's, I mean, dude, he's got, like, 350 pages. Like, he's, he's fucking writing a thesis. What does your dad do? He is an electrical engineer. I was about to say something so common, like he's electrical. Yeah, engineer. he probably goes to people houses and tell them stories. That, that yeah, my my dad would bring up aliens any chance he would get. Um, yeah. probably just to round off the podcast and right before we end here, um, yeah. let's talk about a little about E three. I know. Oh yeah. So the time of this recording, uh, E three will already be done with. Actually, yeah. By the time you see this, E three is. Over. Well, I think e, uh, Nintendo would be out the time we're, we're it's recording Tuesday, this. It'd be the last but time. we're doing, uh, me and Tay are going to be doing Ubisoft Saturday. Brian's going to be doing... Uh, I'm going to do in Square Enix, Bandai Namco, and... Nintendo uh, debate this is Yeah. 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 So, um, if you guys are curious about that stuff and you're on the YouTube or you <laughs> curious about the YouTube, go check out uh, those videos because we're going to be reacting and we're going to be talking about all that stuff today. Um, so go over those, check out those videos. We'll probably put them, the link in the description, but yeah. Uh, what do you guys, what's some predictions to see if we're right about anything? It's going to be a terrible E3. That's yeah. my prediction. It's going to suck. I, hmm, I won't you say hear anything. That? Where'd you hear that? At? Crockin' you. Crockin'. <laughs> I hate when you're right about shit. I really do. We both predicted that last year. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone did. Crockett's going to take credit for that though. Cause yeah. I mean the way, I mean, cause 2020 wasn't so bad because it was, cause the way those games were made, they're all from 20. Any any game you're playing new now is was Already pretty developed. much concept and made back like in three like three ago. three or four years ago. Yeah. So you're seeing old tech pretty much. I think yeah. that E3 this year is gonna suck. Not also like partly because of COVID and like how everything got delayed like up to a year. But also I just think that the culture around games are changing. The yeah. culture about game presentations are changing, and I think E3 E3 was a getting antiquated in 2019. Mm. Like it was running out of time to like exist as a conference so like e3 is gonna start focusing more on like they're gonna start inhabiting like mobile game spaces you see that now 
Yeah, you know? like they're, they're just going to start moving into making more platforms that are making more money globally rather than like what's making money in America specifically. So like mobile mobile gaming is really massive <coughs> in like Asian countries and, and sort of like in the, in the, in the East, uh, mobile gaming is really big. So we're going to see a lot of focus on that because it's a huge market. But I also like like Sony is no longer no. I was gonna bring E three yeah, and then like Xbox is an E three, but Xbox doesn't really have any games to show. Uh, you know, like it's well, I think they t- they're doing they do like to do like third party stuff. Yeah, yeah, but but that's not uh, that's kind of my problem with it. It's like it's not it's an, an Xbox, Xbox conference. It's yeah. like a third. Stu- it's like a studio yeah. conference. Like these uh, are just the games that are going to be released on Xbox for years, and like the gaming people have been following for years. And this is when we start first started doing drinking ship podcast. This is around a town where these people that work in industry say like dude games gonna do it gamescom biz that's like that gamescom yeah that's the august event that's becoming that's actually the biggest event compared to uh either either it's declining um over the years and you notice when sony left e3 you kind of see like oh shit people don't really they, you can do their own thing now right yeah so it's bit, you don't need the conference to do it you no. can just do your own press conference As, and, uh, it's probably fucking cheaper, and you get a lot more. It out is of it. cheaper that way. You don't have to book shit. Yeah, you just like just do it. And I prefer. I always said since it's the beginning, Nintendo is the perfect way to do it. Yeah, the Sony's finally getting on that train. The direct mm-hmm. updates annually what they're doing instead of waiting a fucking year to find out what's happening majorly. Xbox need to do that as well. They tried to last year, but it wasn't. I think I think Xbox is like Xbox in like a really precarious position because I know that what their focus is going to be it's going to be Game Pass and it's going to be mobile service gaming. Shit. Yeah, it's going to be like services because game Xbox has made the move from being like specifically like a gaming studio to being more like a like a multimedia company. You yeah. know, like like it's Microsoft of course, but it's like the focus on Xbox has been less on gaming and more multimedia, and I think that Sony has taken taken the steps to be more of a gaming presence now than anything else like yeah. even with the ps5 you know what what <clears throat> i think this might be xbox's year well if it's not this year it's gonna be next year's so i couple, don't know why couple, you think that well because a couple e3 years ago they bought like 20 studios yeah and ever since then every year i have been waiting for them to reveal like they, they're gonna have a bunch of first party games coming out and it, it's either going to be this year or next year. It might be next because of COVID delayed probably a lot of yeah. their games. But one year, Xbox is going to hit so heavy with a lot of first-party studio games. It's going to be too late, though. I don't know. I It's it's like, what they – they acted very slow on it, but yeah. I think they're going to be – one year they're going to crush. Who do you know has an Xbox One X? It's there's, not a, a, there's a lot of people actually with – with Xbox One Xs? With well, the Xboxes. They're in the Well, I mean, Xboxes, the yeah. Like, I have an Xbox One, but I haven't turned on my Xbox One in, like, a year and a half. I've been playing PS4. The thing with Xbox is you can have quantity, but you also have the quality, too. Yeah. And that's the thing. People that people just think, oh, more games mean, oh, it's better. No. That, I mean, it's great to have more games. It's fantastic. Yeah. But you also got to prove, like, you can make quality games as well. And Xbox has not. Other than Ori and maybe Gears... What Gears was this? Gears of War, like like Gears Four. What's maybe? the recent one? Gears Five was. Apparently, that was fantastic. Well, too, I mean, like back in the day, dude. I mean, Xbox was three sixty days was a do- three sixty was like dominated. The they dominated, now. and they and and I mean now, I mean they're getting Halo Three, Gears, Call of Duty. They they, have, they had Halo's declining though, sadly. Well, yeah, yeah. because the, that's the past, and they can only ride those. Well, you know, it also changed development so company. Like, it's not the same studio anymore. Yeah. You know, it's like 343 versus Bungie. Like, Halo used to be huge. Ha- yeah, Halo was, like, the shooter. Yeah, and now it's like, oh, Halo. Yeah. yeah and I, and I played the Master Chief Collection, and, I like, I love the, like, Halos yeah. from, like, Halo 1 to Halo I, 4. But I think Microsoft knows that, and they're going to need some new flagships. That's what they Because they've ran out of time with what they have now. They've wrote it into the ground but, about as far as they could. They also don't have, like, mascots. You know, like, you can't. Yeah. Like Sony had Kratos, they have Nathan Drake, they had Spyro, they had Crash. You know, like they had all these mascots that if you bring them back, you already have a fan base for those. Yeah. And but Halo, I mean, Xbox had like Gears of War and then they had Halo. And Forza. Those are three main yeah. franchises. Yeah. And so like yeah. but they've already they brought back like it hasn't been twenty years since the last Halo game. It's been like five years and it was kinda crap. So like the, that franchise is no longer like as vitalizing as they could be. That's what I'm saying. That like yeah. they purchase all these studios and they're gearing up. They need some trip. Well, they really need like a bunch of triple A's. They need too. heavy hitters. They need like yeah. masterpieces. Like yeah. 
I know I'm a PS5 play, PlayStation fanboy, but like, you know, PS4. Well, it's good. And, it's good to be like diverse here. But I mean, like, this is like a daily fact, though, how PlayStation had consistently produced fantastic games throughout the PS4 generation. Well, not about the yeah. fourth and onwards. They made like stellar hit <clears throat> Uncharted 4, well, God of War, Horizon, Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Actually, how, look, you said the quality there? Xbox That's crazy. That. That's well, insane. Well, 360, that generation, 360, PS3, Xbox dominated. Yeah. PS4, uh, PS3 Xbox One. So worldwide, but Xbox was the preference console. Well, yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, here. Yeah. We're yeah, talking right. U.S. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I, Xbox also really struggled to hit the Japanese market. They need to leave the fuck alone. Yeah. I don't know why they keep trying. Because Xbox <laughs> just not... <laughs> Japan does not care about that fucking yeah. system. But... Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah. But yeah, like, so, like, last generation, I mean, PS4 crushed. This generation, we're, we're just starting up, but... And, I mean, right now, PS5 is in the lead. Yeah, I mean, Sony's really killing it right now with their, I mean, the PS5 and everything. Seven point. But yeah, and Xbox is pretty lagging behind. But I, I, I really, I think they're they're really gearing up for like some heavy hitting because they all the, with all those studios purchased. I mean, man. And they did buy Bethesda, which is they're probably gonna make one of the oldest worlds <clears throat> an exclusive. For I X think amount of time. But the, well, it's back into this year. I think they might start swinging really hard. See, I, Phil Spencer's iffy on that too, and everyone's questioning it too, about the exclusive deal. Yeah. Because, so here's the thing, like you just said, I think that's, I don't believe that. I think we've come to the point where all these companies are their own things now. Yeah. And they're doing their separate shit. Like, it's not longer gaming. Now it's like Sony, it's like, like yeah, Sony's like, gaming, Xbox, Xbox gaming, gaming, and Nintendo's, Nintendo's gaming. Exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, so I, mean, I see Phil Spencer's comments recently. How he's changed. I you know Game Pass been a recent thing. How he's yeah. been pushing it. I, I remember back then how it was said like digital game is the future and shit. Like past few podcasts we talked about the same stuff. Now I don't fucking know because you see Nintendo and PlayStation hardware sales just fucking crushing it. Yeah, each every generation. Because but, it's 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 hardware. Sorry, I'll let you finish. But I think about yeah. hardware is ultimately where players want to have their equity at. Yeah, you, like, you want to own the devices and the games mm-hmm. that you're playing. Then Phil Spencer wants to make the service on everywhere, and and maybe my information out there. But Game Pass wasn't the reason they're pushing Game Pass Pass so much because it's not really. I mean, apparently it's a fantastic service, but no one's using it. Yeah, not a lot of people are using it as much you think they are. Because it's over. I, th- I think that that Game Pass's biggest struggle is that it's overwhelming. Overwhelming. Like it has way too many selections, and like that selection of games is not. You know, they're not like AAA. Like, you're not going to see Call of Duty Black Ops or you're not going to see, like, Halo Infinite in yeah. there. I think Halo Infinite is coming day one on it, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but you're not going to see, like, you don't often see, like, big AAA game titles. So, like, Game Pass is really... Game Pass is looked at as the... And this is because it started this way. is looked as the discount Walmart bin. That's your $5 gaming. bin. Yeah. You know, like, it's, oh, you got a game, you can play it throw it away exactly how i compared it to um, so like that really hurt game pass at the beginning because there's nothing on game pass that i find particularly interesting other than like maybe some like retro games yeah you know so it's like it just and like i played gears 5 through game pass and stuff like that but those services have a big problem and it's like they overwhelm their consumer base with like an, an enormous amount of choice yeah, and so like you browse through the game for like hours, and then you end up not finding anything that you're interested in. That's how I did on a game at PC. I was, I was like, like what's people talking about Game Pass? Yeah, it was free from the, the Nitro Discord thing. Yeah, I remember. So that. I try like nothing here. No, nothing cares. <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing there's a couple of games, games that I wanted to try, yeah. and I tried them, but like nothing. Xbox no longer has a franchise defining or like a generation defining franchise. That's what they need. Yeah, they need that uh, franchise. People want to. Like support, like like yeah. God of War or Ratchet and Clank or Spyro. I mean, they can do what you know? uh, what they did with God of War. Like God of War was becoming that franchise, so they yeah. had to like reboot it a bit, even though it's a canon game. But they had to like slightly like reboot the series. Yeah, they can do the way Gears and Halo, like make a refresh start and start over. Yeah, I, I, and yeah. it would it would really work specifically yeah. for Gears of War. Like I would love a new Gears of War game yeah. that doesn't ride off the same mechanics that we've been seeing mm-hmm. for. Six years. Six years. You know, like, and stuff like that. Xbox has stopped innovating in, in terms of game design, and I think that's, like, their biggest problem. So I, I, I think that Xbox may come swinging hard, but I think they're going to swing too late because PS5 has already taken most of the sales. Yeah. People are not going to spend another $600 for $100 on a console. No. Not generally. You know, I just think they're a little too late to the game if they start swinging this year or next year. I think this... I don't, I don't yeah. think they're going to... 
if it's not this year, it's going to be two, probably two years. Yeah. Like I said, like it's probably going to be on the back end of these consoles. Yeah. Which is my. If they start develop, if they started development before they had the Xboxes, then there might be a little lacking, mm-hmm. because whatever's at the back end of the console years, they got developed in the first cycle after the the console's already been out. They kind of can get the base that they need to make yeah. a extraordinary game to push the limits of the newer consoles. Like there's <clears throat> literally no reason they want an Xbox Series X right now. No, they no. don't. Because Halo it's fucked a, it up. It's the same. Yeah, Halo Infinite was supposed to come out at yeah. launch. They fucked up. But the Xbox One X, or the Xbox Series X, is literally the same OS, the same operating system, the same software yeah. as the Xbox One. Yeah. It's just slightly better performance. And nobody, n- not a lot of people have, like, 4K gaming. Mm. Like this. I think it's, a lot of people have 4K gaming right now. I, I prepared it for it's a, it's a it's It's getting up there, but, like, the majority of people don't necessarily have, like, a 4K gaming There's TV. A ba- yeah, but, like, well, a gaming TV, yes, but, like, a 4K TV, no. I think I think that's pretty standard at this point where you go to a store, it's about, like, I think there's more 4K TVs than there's 1080p TVs. The, the, there might be, but the hardware, like like the HDMI's that are, that people are using to getting the like the good quality gaming, like you can boost performance all you want. You can boost like longer, sm- like like smaller loading screens and whatnot. But like people don't have the ecosystem to take advantage of all of that. Like as a as a mass market, you know, like you need people specific don't. HDMI's to get the most out of your gaming TV, get yeah. the most out of your refresh rate. Uh, you need a native sixty hertz panel to get 60 hertz uh, yeah. thing. It's like, like they're, they're, ba- they're, Xbox is kind of like wanted to be like this high performance system, like comparable to PC and tap into the PC market, but they just haven't done yeah, didn't the legwork. Didn't they say they were going to have like interchangeable parts and stuff to be able to upgrade it? I remember that. That thing was gone. They, they're trying to put the shit on TVs now. That's what Game Pass is. They're using everything accessible. They're making it accessible as possible. Well, that was yeah. Xbox One, where they were like and try to integrate it into a media center, which yeah. I think they they sure like out. they've shifted away from that, and now they're kind of going into more of a service. Yeah, because yeah. they're trying to fruit uh, future proof it. Put the yeah. seeds now. Which mm-hmm. it, it's interesting because PlayStation has little to none of that. Their PlayStation, PlayStation now doesn't is need like it. dead. And that's the that's the fucking thing. They don't, yeah. but they will. Uh, same with Nintendo. I that doesn't understand. I kind of trail back what I said too. When you look at these fucking console sales, especially for Nintendo and like Nintendo Switch is fucking dominating. Oh yeah. Pure hardware, and PS5. You know it's gonna have some dominate as well, and already proven it did. It's already tw- it already beat PS4's fucking cycle, whatever. Or in terms of like uh, like the sales for the PS4? first year. Yeah. By like a large margin, and I don't know how the fuck they did that, because it's like it's uh it's hard to get it. Yeah, and you talking about the, the P- Switch, the PS Five, the oh, PS Five, yeah, PS Five is currently seven point well. eight million <clears throat> console sales already. Who's getting it, and how the fuck did it double <laughs> the PS Four launch? And the PS Four sold out like you think cakes. it was scalpers that like yeah it made them made it so big it was because they were just buying the stock out immediately. Did you watch my video on PS Insight? <laughs> 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 nah, yeah, Jim, Jim Ryan actually hates that shit. Yeah, he didn't like that. I don't uh, think anyone likes that because it's just it's giving their name a bad rep. He he can't help it though. Yeah, he yeah. can, but I mean it's it's dim- it's diminishing the uh, PlayStation name. And it's on, it's interesting because did Xbox have scapular issues? No? no, I think they had a couple, but I mean there was no high demand for it, so they probably. I think some people are having issues with it. I just don't think it was highly reported on. What did PlayStation do though that it had such a high demand compared to Games. Xbox? The yeah, Xbox just didn't have anything to offer. Like I said, Sony was the people that made people watch E3. Yeah. And Sony's also proven that they can make fucking games. Yeah. They, they got examples from the PS4. Insomniac. Yeah. Fucking Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. Sucker Punch. Yeah. Like, and that's why I said Xbox needs that, which I think they will. But Xbox is really iffy, though, because <laughs> they're buying people, not making their own shit. <laughs> So, like, imagine Rockstar was owned by Xbox. Right. That would fucking suck. Yeah. Because you, you lose the potential exclusivity. Like yeah. The, like, for me, I don't care about Bethesda games, but I know there's a cult following for those fucking games. But it's really bizarre. Like, you brought Bethesda. You didn't... Why didn't you make your own shit? you taking something from a large fan base. Well, you mean, like, make your own studio? Yeah, make your own studio. Like, so many Sony studios are built from the ground up. 
and they made it on. I guess because they they didn't have time. They like they're like we're losing. We're so far behind on this that we need to just you know. I don't think I think the which, talent I mean, is Ma- not there. Microsoft just has money to throw out. Yeah, they, they can. Just, they, yeah. they have the ability to do it. So they they because they're not gonna they're not gonna take any losses. I mean, they might lose a couple mil, but I mean that's literally nothing to them. Because like, I was whatever. reading this article from I think Push Square made a statement like Sony isn't buying studios; they're making acquisitions with studios. So they helping fucking all the studios out. Like, they're like know. they're planting seeds, pretty much. So, yeah, that's what they did. Like, what, like House Mark was a second party. I mean, same with Insomniac was a second party, but they made PlayStation games. Yeah, they didn't own them, uh, the company. Right, and that's why I said like, just buy them. They work for you so many fucking times. Might as well just, just take them. The same with House Mark is. You know, we talk about a lot about like PlayStation, and Sony, but we never bring up Nintendo Studios because Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo. Nintendo has a weird relationship with CDs. I don't understand a lot about it, but Nin- uh, like 90% of the games that are Nintendo games, Mario, Zelda, are Pokemon. developed by the same people. Pokemon yeah. recently got uh, sourced out, outsourced. It's no longer a Game Freak. There was really? one Pokemon game. I think it was, it might have been Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Uh, that got sourced out to another studio that wasn't Game Freak. Yeah. Um, and I think the new Arceus game may not be developed by Game Freak. Probably yeah. not. Um, I think it's it's the same studio that, that that did the other thing. So Pokemon has started branching out, and that's because they have so many properties now that I think they just need a little bit extra help managing mm-hmm. their properties. Uh, but Nintendo, like the same studio that made Twilight Princess is the same studio that's making Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it's like, like I, you know. I, Nintendo's the hardest one to follow. Because yeah. like, you can and follow. they're not open about it either. Do they, they just have like a vi- I think they have a vice grip on the, these a lot of studios there, right? No, like it's like PlayStation, Sony, you can, uh, Xbox, and PlayStation. You can like follow the updates and shit, like what they're doing. Because it's a more American base. I don't think it's that. It's just like Nintendo. You just a game comes out and that's it. Yeah. You don't know what's going on behind it. Or well, Nintendo keeps that shit pretty pretty tight. Yeah, Nintendo doesn't really like to talk about their behind the scenes. Like I can't name one Nintendo studio. I'm be honest with you. Game no. freaking, but that's I mean that's just because people are pretty pissed off with them. With they don't own game. Well. Game Freak is there. It's not a Nintendo. Yeah, it's company. not like a Nintendo. Because when you yeah. think of like Mario, you don't think of the company. You think of Nintendo. You think of Nintendo, which is just the parent company. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Let like me who made like you said like who makes Spider Man like Insomnia. Insomnia, yeah. Yeah, but who makes Mario? Nintendo. <laughs> but Nintendo's not a studio that's making it. It's a, it's a studio. There's someone you know working on it. So let me see. Uh, but you know, but they like they rarely like. So it's it's Nintendo Nintendo Entertainment Nintendo Entertainment is like, look at the, all the studios that have developed Mario games. Yeah, it's crazy. But you don't know about any of that because Nintendo wants you to. Nintendo wants the illusion that they're made by Nintendo, comp, like they're, Nintendo. They're Apple Gaming. You know, yeah, like they they really are. I feel like they really hold it close to their hands because they don't want you to know that. They license out this property to do other things. They want it to be known as a Nintendo property, not a Game Freak property. From what I've seen, uh, that's in my opinion. This morning, regarding like the E3, that gonna be good. Nintendo's. I remember saying Nintendo's gonna be the best show. Yeah. Now I have no fucking clue it's gonna be the best show. From what I've seen this morning. It, I yeah. mean, yeah. I mean, who do you guys? I mean, we're gonna see a lot of stuff th- th- uh, today and tomorrow and Monday. So, um, you guys have any? idea of like who might do pretty Square well. Enix <laughs> and Bandai no. Namco. I think those uh, are going to be... Bandai showed their biggest game, Elden Ring. No, Bandai, that's, that's that Bandai? Yeah, that was well? Bandai. Uh, yeah. Bandai Namco has a couple of fighting games that they're publishing. Okay. That they got on My Hero Academia Is From Soft under Bandai? No, that's a Bandai produced game. It was supposed oh. to be there in Xbox, but they didn't yeah. want to be there for some reason. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I don't understand that fucking game. I don't know. Yeah, like either. Catcom, we have... Uh, take two, take two <laughs> Verizon. Two. I think Verizon might got, have it, guys. Hell yeah, the Verizon games. two yeah. console. Can't wait. Oh, we might have to wrap up. Oh, someone's waiting for it. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Oh yeah, Damn, this is the longest show we did too. Yeah, it's like two hours. So definitely went off. I think a minutes. if Xbox, Xbox might have it, if they if they actually start blasting off games this year, but if not, uh, maybe I don't know Ubisoft or something. Let's see. I think it's gonna be a pretty mediocre conference. Same. And we're gonna get some gaming news, and that's gonna be. Yeah, we got some news. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I was ready to see the nerds complain. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, thank you guys for listening to the episode. Sorry that we didn't have a video this time. That's on me. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, where can I find you? Uh, you can find me at. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Brian Archie, and Twitch at Brian Browning. 
Guys, you can find me at cyber underscore calamity on Twitter, or you can follow me at cyber calamity on Twitch. Just making <laughs> straight eye contact. You, you don't do this for a week, you suddenly forget anything that yeah. you, you were going to say. At it the feels end. like forever, too. Yeah, it really does feel like a long ass time. You kill a consistency, yeah. You and can, you can find Tay at underscore Tay Infinite on Twitter. <laughs> That's what it's doing. <laughs> I love this joke. It's hilarious. Well, awesome. guys, if you liked the episode, please give us a like, subscribe, follow, whatever the platform you're using, so that it means a lot, and you can be notified of the next episode. So uh, take yeah. care. Take it easy, fellas. Yeah. See you guys.